Control. Huh? I don't know. I think it's going live. Okay, we're actually live on base right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're about ready to go then. Let's move all, some of this off to the side. Then we've got the extra length of the cords so we can move around as necessary. Oh, I gotta set up Twitch alerts though. I've got my Twitch alerts set up from last time when we did the IRL streaming and Soapgate happened! But I don't have it set up for this time, so. What's up, guys? Oh, that means I gotta sign with Bay Street TV. Ah! Uh. Mm. Turns out I need my phone for the mobile authentication. RIP. Nah. I like how, by the way, you woke up. You're kind of like a cat. It's like that little bit of. <laughs> so, Zombie Urban, I've actually had a really fucking horrible last couple of days. Or specifically, this morning slash last night. Um. Do you want to tell your story or should I tell mine first? Okay, so I got here, I got home from the airport with no problems. Plane ride was okay, all this stuff. Um, the issue we ran into, oh fucking authentication token. I'll be right back. You tell your story. two hours, one of which is on the guitar mat. So I get in at 2 a.m., and Rifkin's like, I'll meet you at a Sky Train station stop thing. So I try and go to the Sky Train, and it's closed. And I'm like, oh, well, they didn't tell me to go buy Sky Train, so maybe this is where we're going to meet. So I take a taxi cab, and I wait at this station for like half an hour and I'm like where the fuck is Rifkin and I don't have data in Canada so I go to a hotel that's nearby and finally I see these DMing me like he didn't realize the Skytrain was down and all that and he had gone back home so we coordinate and eventually we do meet in the middle and I go to his place and this morning I wake up and I have to check in for my flight tomorrow and I realize my passport is in my bag. My bag is in here. And I found out that I left my bag at that casino hotel thing that I had gone to to get Wi-Fi. So I had to go pick that up. And it was cold and lonely and creepy. There's no one around at 2 in the morning. But I got it now, it's okay. Yeah, I felt really bad because this morning, like, my apartment is not super big, but it's not super small either, and there's just no reason we shouldn't have been able to find her bag if it was here. So I was kind of like, well, fuck, like, you know, your brain does irrational things. Did somebody break in while we were asleep and we didn't hear them and, like, this, that, and the other? But, um, yeah, was, we ended up being lucky because she just left it in the hotel lobby. Um... Shout out for Falcon for the sub, so I'm still setting up base rate TV Twitch alerts. One sec, guys. Normally, I only ever use my laptop for my own my own stuff. Uh, alert box, there we go. It's not like I wanted you to sub or anything. Dummy! Oh, I can't read that text. Hard revenge, that's gonna disappear too quick. I sexually identify as the Hokage of the Leaf Village, was all I got, and then. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Although, I guess the Bay Street TV notifier is not really going to line up for this. Let's test it, I guess. Test subscription. Yeah, it's going to be awkwardly placed. Let's put it in the corner. Look for the best. And then... Oh, yeah, where's BitBoss? Let's get BitBoss up. That, thing, that thing's actually a lot of fun. I really like it. Although, yo, did you guys see how much Nate got? Oh, my Jesus Christ. If you go to twitch.tv slash Nathanius right now, you're going to see, like, his top pin bit. It's, like, literally $1,000 worth of bits. It's crazy. 
But that's not all. Like he had a bit war leading into that. So I was talking to him at at, uh, at, at Tang, and he was just kind of like, "Dude, this thing is fucking crazy." And I'm like, "Oh, I thought we did pretty good. We got like 23,000 bits or something." Um, well, we did it, and he he had fucking like a hundred thousand bits or some shit. Like, fuck you, Nathaniel's. Although apparently they're gonna be updating it so you can include donations into the damage or something. Should be kind of cool. Oh, where's the launcher here? Where's that authorized? It should be authorized. Mystery TV resubs coming in. Thank you, Tris. Tris, I love you, Bay. Thank you for also accidentally subbing to me. I really appreciate that too. Just happy little accidents. I'll stick that under this camera, I guess. That sucks to do on a finger pad, guys. Yes, she only got two thousand five hundred bits at a time. What the fuck? I was kind of joking with Jesse from Ting. I'm like, yo, you should pay us in bits so we can look like we're cool. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal, guys. We're not really going to have great access to chat. I'm going to blow it up as big as I can. I take it out to be its own thing. Uh, how do I do that again? Pop out. There's pop out. I don't know. I need chat to pop out. Not the viewer list. I don't give a fuck if the viewer list has popped out. Twitch. Pop out. There we go. Alright fam, you are now in full screen mode. Get a little bit bigger so hopefully we can read if stuff happens. Whoa, too big, too big, too big, too big! Go back, go back! Alright. Nikki, you can read that okay from over there? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Is it too bright? You got too much sun in your eyes? I am become death, destroyer of worlds. Well, Terminator is the boss, and he actually has like a real boss-like picture there too. Boink, boink, boink. All right, uh, I should probably swap these cameras around so this is the bigger one. Let me figure out how to do that real quick. Uh, thank you for the bits, though, dude. Much, much love. I just realized I was gonna make this way more complicated than I needed to. I can just shrink and enlarge. And then swap. All right, so here's the plan for the AMA stuff and what, what we're doing today, guys. Uh, honestly, we're just killing time for a couple hours. I think Scarlet and crew are going to be available around 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, which will be about 10 a.m. in Korea. And uh, we're just going to kind of hang out for a bit. Uh, my my sad story, by the way. Let's see. Okay. My sad story, if you missed it on Twitter, I got fucked. I got fucked real bad. Um... On average, I'm a very safe and very paranoid person about theft. And um, I guess just being exhausted from Ting Finals and Plane Ride and everything, I, I got home and I was so hungry and exhausted, I ended up uh, stopping by Burger King on the way back to my place. And Burger King is like right next to my place. So th there's like a three minute distance between my place and Burger King. And unfortunately, uh, it turns out somewhere between there I got pickpocketed or robbed or maybe even my wallet just got left lying around I fell in my pocket but the point is someone picked it up and used it and normally I don't check my online banking every night but uh, I, I happened to be checking it this night because of a purchase I made at Coursera to see if it went through and yeah it really fucking sucked realizing someone had already had already used it for $60 at a gas station and I'm like well what the fuck so I gotta I'm, I'm freaking out. I've never had my wallet stolen before. I've never had important information like credit cards stolen before. Uh, my social insurance was in there, right? My PC care card was in there, everything. So um, kind of having a mini panic attack. I'm still waiting for her because she's technically late. I don't know what's going on. So I call the police, file a report. I call my bank uh, before that, though, and I, I cancel all my credit cards, which means I, I literally have no money right now, and it sucks. Uh, I cancel my debit card. Again, no money. It fucking sucks. And um, well, I got like 20 bucks and change. That's my life. I got to live off 20 bucks and change so these new credit cards come in in about a week and a half. 
Um, but yeah, what Trish says, gas stations have cameras. So I went down to the gas station while I was waiting for her, and I'm like, look, can you guys help me out? Like, about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, somewhere in that region, someone spent $60, and they used a credit card that was mine. Um, but because we used it at the pumps and it wasn't used inside, they don't really have a camera, which is dumb because you think they have cameras on the pumps for people who drive away with license plates and stuff. So the police are going to get involved, and honestly, I shouldn't. I shouldn't, yeah, what CK Walsh said, I shouldn't be charged for anything. Um, it looks like they tried to spend between $60 and $120. No idea if I'll get charged for that. But it's just the fact that I don't have my money really sucks, or access to my money, which kind of sucks. So, it's not going to buy me lunch today. Yay. I'm up getting like all you can eat sushi, which was surprisingly cheap. Uh, I guess the lunch menu is like $11 per person, Canadian. Was oh, the music too loud? I can turn that down. So, so we were testing audio stuff. We've never done this IRL setup before, like ever. Hopefully that's quite enough. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm kind of SOL. So thank you for the bits. <laughs> Appreciate it. And uh, I guess we can get to building some some Battle Cruiser Lego action here, if you're awake enough for it. Turns out Zombie Grub needs, uh, guys, what, uh, pray for Zombie Grub. One prayer equals one uh, eye awake or something, or bits to wake up Zombie Grub. You know what? I can turn the bits sound super fucking loud. <laughs> so bits come in, we can just wake her up with it. I'm wrong. Hmm. Oh, cat. <laughs> Quit pissing on the carpet! What are you doing? <laughs> Now the music's a little quiet? For fuck's sake, I can't win with this. Alright, I'm gonna put the music where it was before. And it's just gonna stay there. And whether that's good or bad, I don't give a fuck. No, it's too loud. Oh, it's too quiet. Okay. And then this should still be loud enough that we can hear alert notifications and stuff. She's a zombie, actually. Yup. All right, so here's the problem with this thing. This has a lot of parts in it, like a lot. Zombie Grub is a bad kitty. I can't wait to look at that clip later. Uh, so again, thank you. It was like Zombie Grub, Oli Moly, Ravi, and I think a couple of our mods came together. Yeah, I had him sign it too. Um, well, nice username signed it too. Isn't he not part of it? <laughs> well, then why'd you let him sign it? Mm -hmm. Snake's right there. <laughs> wow. Oh, you know, uh, nice username. What a what a credit stealing thief. You may have now these are not technically Legos; they're Mega Blocks, I guess. But uh, I feel like the best thing to do is probably keep all the open pieces in here. Okay. I think the best thing to do is for me to tell you what to do. Okay. It's like, cause you're tired and you don't want to do any fucking work. No, 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 no. Tell you what to do. <laughs> zombie Grub. Oh, you guys, you know what's funny? Really, really, really I've, small black block. I've lived with Zombie Grub for a period of time. You know, that month we were in Toronto. I've hung out with her multiple times. I've even taken her while she's hung over. I've never seen her this tired before, ever. <laughs> so unwilling to live. <laughs> Look, okay, it's a really small. Black what is that profile black? picture? Wow. Dinosaur. <laughs> Fuck off! Can you see that shit from there? What profile what picture? He took. He took a stupid. Uh, fucking dinosaur. Are you serious? I guess you probably can't see that. It's the headband and the glasses. <laughs> oh. It doesn't notice my head's cut off and one of the webcams. Oh yeah, I guess I can angle that differently. I think I, I think I moved it when I was walking. Oh. There we go, that should be a little better. You guys can see everything. Some people included. Kinky Mouse is high chat. What's up Kinky Mouse from far away? What I do, girl? Anyways, yeah, so we've never done like a setup like this before, so it's kind of fun and different and interesting. I'd be as excited as ZG if I had to build that thing. Yo, this is a fucking battle cruiser. Are you kidding me? And I'm not even proxying it. I tried to build a Zoid once. Oh my god, we're literally the starport right now. That explains why it's going so slow. Yeah, you built a reactor instead of a tech lab, dummy. Battle cruisers take a long time to make. They do. Okay, so how do you want to do this? 
I'm telling you what to do. There's a tiny, so tiny black Geraldine. block. Okay, which of these fucking 400 tiny, tiny black blocks am I looking at? It's the tiniest one. The tiniest one. <laughs> Maybe we should just do a napping stream. I mean, are there? does anyone know? Are there rules against IRL napping? <laughs> Just nap for two hours and stream that. And you can listen to how heavy I breathe. One. And then there's the little bigger one. Oh, this is cool, actually. So these Lego bricks, bigger. they're painted with, like, damage on them. There's no way they can show this to the camera. But I guess it's to make the battle cruiser look a little more, like, battle torn. So it's battle bruised. Give me the book. Give me the book. Thank, thank you, thank you, fucking. I don't even know what comedian I want to call you right now. Amy Schumer. <laughs> Liza Schleslinger. That's a cattle bruiser, not a battle. <laughs> these instructions kind of. These escalate quickly. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's. I don't. That has nothing to do with the thing you're I'm not actually sure. I think the second pant page is a different one. Oh, it's a different, you're right. Because it's like, man, this goes from this to this <laughs> real fast. I think it's a preview. Oh, the bottom thing is just like the stand for it. Yeah. Okay, so well. Oh, jeez, this whole big thing. I think this is the one that has the stand in it. This is no. a stand. Huh? Is it a shape? I don't know. There's actually like a ton of pieces here, guys. Okay. Oh, yo, also, this is my couch that you guys saw us build on stream the other day. <sighs> so I'm what's the verdict? Is it super duper comfy? It's all right. I like this couch a lot. I really, really like this couch. Um, okay, well, this looks like it has some black round pieces in it, but I don't think these are the ones that are... See, it's this thing, right? I'm literally pointing at it. I'm not just holding it. Oh, there. I thought you were fucking around, dude. <laughs> you think I wouldn't take this Why seriously? Do that? This is the most serious thing I've ever done. Look, if I could hear you during the cast yesterday, I'm sure you were probably mocking me the whole way, okay? And Battle Cruises are a serious <laughs> deal for me. Yo, I was watching, I went back I and I watched. You could hear us. <laughs> well, yeah, I literally responded to you in game. Like, you're, like, you're like, oh, look, those mules are repairing each other. I was like, no, they aren't. <laughs> I like because we have people in chat too. Like, oh, it's a fair. Why can't they hear? Why can Riff can hear? Well, not just. I'm like, guys, just fuck around having fun. Like, I don't. Know. <laughs> Jesse should have had knowledge, man. Yeah, you know what? We actually didn't have rules that he had to put soundproofing in. He he chose to do that. He chose to be honor. Honor gets you nowhere. Okay, so these are pretty. There we go. These are pretty big. Doesn't smell like new Lego. It smells like used Lego. I you know I fucking love the way plastic smells, dog. Don't pretend like that's I'm crazy sure and different. You say you just love the smell of anything new. Yeah, and this is like new. We're just opening it out of the package now. Now that I've got that down, I thought it was specific materials. Plastic. I don't see the next piece for this. Okay, here's your plan. You gotta help me look for these in the bag. We're looking for a. Oh, we're looking for a couple pieces here, actually. Are we doing the stand or not? Yeah, I'm trying to do the stand. Okay, there's a bunch of tiny little well, pieces. Get up, then. Huh? Cause I'm, cause I need to stand. <laughs> that would have hurt. Wada 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 wada. Another stand user. Shout out to anyone who understands these terrible memes I'm making. I'm trying to look for those blue pillars. I think these are them. Yeah. Yeah, these are them. Yeah, this is But I, I think the pieces we need are really generic for that. Although these are... Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure one of these are it. I think this is the limited edition battle cruiser. Yeah, so I need this piece for that. These are cool, though. These are like jet engines or something here. I get it. Feels good, man. Fix it? What's wrong? What do I need to fix, guys? Hey, what the fuck was that? I don't know, I said fix it, fix it, fix it. I'm not paying a lot of attention to chat, to be honest. No one else is saying anything. Well, then I guess nothing's broken. This is pretty cool, actually. Let me show you guys. Uh... 
Oh, probably better in this game, actually. Oh, I'm quiet. It's not yours, Mike. That makes sense, because I'm trying not You're to. You're also speak. angling it away from your mouth, <laughs> literally. It's weird, you didn't touch it before. Well, you might need to have it closer, because we don't have an amp. Like, here, speak for a second, see if that lights up. Well, don't. Don't blow out the. Yeah, that just might just she's just maybe a little bit quiet, guys. I, I don't think that's on the microphone side. It's partially the microphone's fault. <laughs> I told you don't blow out the fucking levels, you dumb shit. <laughs> Yo, the thing is, people think Zombie Girl is like so nice and innocent. She does that shit on purpose. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> she knows exactly what she's doing. Okay, I think this is one of those ones. This should be good now. I can't see what the length of this is. Four ten. I need a ten. <laughs> yep, they're in the spec. Okay, now I need to find two four bricks and one four brick. Or two by four and a two by two. Are you? Who are you? You're too busy, actually. <laughs> what did you do with the real zombie grub? It's reverse roles. He's setting things up and being very technical. <laughs> I'm hosting the lobby right now, and I'm getting mad because the piece I try to use isn't the piece I get. Uh, I have to fill in all the Rifkin jokes. I don't think I've ever joked about blowing a couple hundred people before. <laughs> What's worse is I like you can tell how much she's enjoying it. She's just sitting there kicking her legs around like a kid at the edge of a swimming pool. Like, <laughs> time for roleplay. Zombie can never roleplay me. Are you kidding me? That would go so poorly. Interesting. It's just black blocks. I cannot find black bricks. Go. This is gray. You colorblind? Are you even trying? You know why I threw this back? Because I don't think you even looked at him. I think you just picked up a bag and gave him to me. I'm gonna throw these at you. It's gonna be like Moana, he throws her off the boat. I think these are great too. I don't know, man. I think we gotta give up. Maybe we can just use gray, I guess? I mean. I'm gonna say, like, a lot of these are gray. Yeah, but look, specifically, I think it's supposed to be black to match this, right? It's like such a close color to black. <laughs> I hate you. Go home already. When's your flight? <laughs> yeah, well, I'll need these ones for the next part. We can't even get the fucking stand for the battle cruiser, guys. I'm a mermaid. <laughs> top half fish, bottom half woman, or bottom half fish, top half woman. <laughs> bottom half bed sheets. <laughs> We tried. We tried. Let's just call it a day. <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> I can't find two fucking black bricks. I'm actually on tilt. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like... You know what I'm going to do? 
She's gonna stand up and she's gonna be like sitting on him or something. I'm not sitting on anything. Okay. We'll go with Gray. Look, if they're just. Can they just. We're going with Gray, fuck it. We're gonna have four blocks and this whole battle cruiser will be the wrong color because we'll find the black ones later. <laughs> are these per bag? Maybe this is per bag. No. No, because all these pieces are in very different bags. Well, there's like a list of stuff. Uh, there's definitely black and gray. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I know there's black and gray. Well, there's gray. I don't know about black. I don't think black exists. Black. I don't think I'm actually colorblind. <laughs> so would it be like shade blind? Is this not black? It's not a brick though. That's like a like a thin thing. What are you what are you looking at? I'm looking specifically for <laughs> these ones. These ones. Yeah. Owl? 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 Dude, I don't... No, no, there's no brick. They're all... There are bricks. One, two. Guys, we can't fucking build Lego. <laughs> I mean, you're the one supposed to be good at this. Guys, we can't fucking build Lego. Oh, uh, there are... What are you guys supposed to be good at this? You're you're the you're you. you. Why are you linking the grand finals intro? Yes, guys, this is not Lego. It looks like Lego. It's basically Lego, guys. This is legally not Lego. It's Mega Blocks. Oh shit! I know why we're sucking at this event. You're actually not allowed to use this according to the box. No children under the age of three. <laughs> Don't be proud of that. <laughs> Quit kicking your fish fucking mermaid legs around. Yo, so chat, what do you guys think? We're gonna see Power Rangers later. Do we... <gasps> no, this is a three block though. We need two fours and a two. Who's sub? Superhero! I missed the ting event. Woo! At least I'm here for this. Dog, you missed the ting event. I'm really sad. Okay, actually, if we can real talk about the ting event real quick. I am really fucking proud of the way that went. There were hiccups, but they were minor and resolved quickly. And more to the point, I thought the show went pretty smooth. And on top of that, I'm really... I, I actually felt really good about my casting there. I don't know. Normally, like, I just kind of accept that everyone thinks I'm a shitty caster. But I felt like we did a pretty good job. Like you, me, and Nate. We always do an amazing job. Okay. But not at Battle Cruisers. Like, there's so many black pieces, but they're tiny and, like, too small. I like these custom pieces that are clearly here for just the battle cruiser. They're like these wingtip bits. I think they're super cool. My arm is so tired. Sonic Grub, I think you got me a shitty gift. We can't get past step one. We could just not build the stand. What if we have the same problem with all the other parts? Well, then we'll skip. And then what am I gonna display it on if we don't have a stand? Guys, I mean, all you I have can't, to do is get the two boob things. I can't understand. Because it goes under. It goes under the ship, zombie grub. Do you get it? Do you get the joke? Understand? It's the stand under. Say it louder and more clearly. <laughs> then I'll understand it. It's talking to Gumi, huh? Just glue it to the wall, Rifkin. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, so we need to talk about that. SSLs are on fucking Mondays, apparently. So I saw that, and I couldn't find any proof that they continue to go on Mondays. That was what I was thinking, but so Golden messaged me saying that they are. We have to keep Corsair on Monday. <sighs> so tilted. I thought we had it all perfect. Let's find another day from BTS. We're going to try building the actual fucking battle cruiser. Okay, I'm down for skipping the stands. They're just like maracas. Very, very bad maracas. I'm very tired now. I feel like I used, I all, my, I used all my energy getting mad at not completing the stand. <laughs> I don't um, know how to deal with life right now, guys. I can't process this. Why would they give us bags and not coordinate what's in the bags? Well, it is a Blizzard product. <laughs> I became a huge fan of Stats after the first 24-hour base trade house stream. Yeah, Stats is hilarious, dude. Hashtag kill Stats. Get him drunk. I'm gonna break the illusion. I gotta go to the bathroom. What illusion are you discussing here? Because if you're talking about the mermaid... I don't think anyone fucking believes her. <laughs> oh, oh, we got some bits. Yoda cow. Awesome ting finals. Great cow. Oh, fuck. I can't believe that one. Sick. This is such a horrible setup. Awesome ting final. Great casting from you and Zion. We have a Nate PS. Love my new portrait insert. Oh, yeah. This is the guy we gave the Hell's Boot Time portrait to. I forgot about that. Dude, Yoda cow. I'm so glad you actually used it. You are, like, super legit one of, like, Less than 500 people who have that portrait code. Make other nerds jealous, dude. Like, you're getting cheese, you're about to lose the game, you're like, at least I got a portrait, and call him a fucker and leave. <laughs> Alright, so she's gonna do... This looks like the midsection of the battle cruiser. wonder if I can work on... another part. Like, this thing is actually, none of these parts look too complicated, and it looks like we're just building a bunch of little sectionals that will eventually just be connected together. Yeah. So it's just like building a lot of little parts. I don't, I really, aside from finding the fucking pieces, this doesn't look like it'll be that bad. But apparently that's the trick, finding the pieces, right? Rifkin, why not just play some StarCraft 2? Because we put a portrait, uh, or we put a uh, straw pull up, and we asked, or not straw pull up, Twitter pull up, asking people, do you want us to do like backseat gaming? So, for example, Zombie would play StarCraft, and I would yell over her shoulder, or um, we could do a cooking stream, and we went to an Asian food store this morning, so we could have done cooking. But you guys voted pretty heavily on building the Lego Battle Cruiser, which is going quite terribly. I think it's your fault, too. You're the one who got me the Legos. <laughs> okay, let's get started on this next part. This looks easy enough. Okay, I will look for the one that's like the thing facing up. The slanted bit. Oh, do you like Sudokus, by the way? No. You're gonna really fucking hate Mass Effect. <laughs> <laughs> Every puzzle no, in that game is a fucking Sudoku with alien numbers. Oh, that's weird. That <clears throat> that's what we should have done. We should have had you just fucking stream Mass Effect. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I was on board with that, but then everyone said they want to watch Legos. Isn't this thingy the thingy that we need? No. Yes. No. Oh my god! Why are you hoarding like a hundred bags over here? Because you threw them over here. <laughs> That's right, I did. <laughs> Don't blame me. So is much of this is your fault. Just need? can you learn to be an adult and accept responsibility for once? No, this is two things. No, it's Yeah, this is it. I think that's two yeah, no. put together. No. Wait, wait, you need that. I'll look for the flat the flat skinny bits. I think are in the bag I was in earlier. I did find it. I can't open them. Things don't explode. Oh no! Got it. One, two. <coughs> you you realize there's more to it than just slapping a page, right? <laughs> You're like, go. all right, go. I got him though. Now do it. Now the thing. Ow. 
Oh. Do the thing. All right. Well, what do that's we do? Really with that's the thing? all that's in there. These go upside down. We're building this fucking upside down. This is already infuriating. So this. So it's like this. So we need the other bits to connect them. So I think I have the flat bit bag. One of those. And then how many? How many is that? Is that six or five? Six. <coughs> We need a very tiny block. I don't see six in this and one. And it's gray. This might have it. Or not. I should have space in between the two? Yeah, I should. Okay. Oh, we're kind of... We're making things happen, guys. Like open all these bags and dump them in the box. I don't know. I feel like we could, but there's so many tiny little bits. It's probably better to do that later. I just feel so deceived that they even bothered putting them in individual bags. Yeah, I know, right? Like this could have just this might as well have just been one big giant fucking bag. Oh okay, well, here, you look for these. I am. Actually, I got one of those parts here. So we need two, four of the. Is that six? That's six. So that's how many? Two, I need five of those in total. Five of the six longs. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, that's eight long. Okay, so I need something shorter than this. Two, four, six, eight. Fuck. Huh? Told you. This is six long. All right, put this here. Oh, we're actually building something now. Now we're pod racing. Now this is pod racing. Now this is pod racing. This is weird. I gotta fill the rest of these with five or sixes, but there's no. This is all black. Two, three. <laughs> hey, where's the piece I put on here earlier? Oh, it's at the bottom. How do those stay in, though? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It didn't stay in. I guess that's what the next bit's for. So wait, did you find the little two block? No. Um, no. Okay, well, what do we need to connect all those? That's what I'm looking for. Okay, I have single blocks here. Single blocks. All the single blocks. All the single I blocks. I have double black box. Box, but not gray. So the four block we'll need here. Wait, this is weird. This is also a gray block. I need a double sided block? What is this? Oh my god. This block is so What is this piece for? I don't know. It's just straight of rubber, dog. This is all black. This is all gray. <laughs> this is worse than Where's Waldo, I'm just saying. <laughs> Twitch chat. Up. Twitch chat. <laughs> so these pieces are really weird. Actually, I've never seen their shapes before. I guess they're made. Well, that's because they're not those. Legos. Let's keep throwing these at you like bean bags. Oh, I thought I found the two block. I just saw that and I was like, yes! Yeah. Just kidding. <clears throat> this is no. This is actually so trolly. There's so many blocks that look like what we need, but they're not quite that piece. 
I thought building this would be easier than the stand. <laughs> That's not proving to be the case at all. Oh, you know what? Where's this big, thick one? Let's find that one. Two while we're at it. Big, long, and thick. Hey, oh. <clears throat> you know what? I'm just gonna start I'm fucking dumping these out. Yay! <clears throat> It's a pretty long one too, it's like eight. I'm gonna keep the smaller ones together. Tushat's just gonna freak out, I'm calling it. I'm not even Is looking. This one? Someone's gonna freak out. Yes. Nice. Are they building a PC? Yep. Yeah. Should be obvious. This end piece is really weird. I don't know what to look for for this. So do you see it? This is like a double sided block or something. It's this one here. Oh. Well, you think they'd be in the same bag together? That would make too much sense. What is this too? Is this like the cockpit of the Battle Fizzer building? The cockpit. It's big and long and thick. Shout out to Fear Dragon for that resub, Graham. Why are you building this at your home? You should build it closer to Jesse, like every proxy VC should be. Is this that? Just yes, this is definitely it. This is like a this is a really weird piece though. So this goes at the end. Of I'm this. looking for like smoke pipes here. Oh, you know what? This piece isn't right. This is too short. Mm, crap. Well, how long is it supposed to be? Hang on. Uh, if you can't find something longer than this. I should remember where you got that one from. Oh, did I just find that two piece? I did find the two piece that we need at the end here. I don't think this has anything longer than that. Well, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that eight? Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Six. Because near as I can tell, these last two pieces are supposed to go together. This go bag was the chosen one. Supposed to finish the battle cruiser, not destroy it. <laughs> Smoke pipe. Who called in the fleet? You know what? Here's the ultimate battle cruiser move: abandon ship. <laughs> it's like toss everything everywhere and don't finish it, right? I don't. You don't see an eight block? No, I didn't. It wasn't. In the yeah, I unloaded all the big ones from this side and just took out the little ones to put here. Yeah, these bags are pretty unique. Yeah, I'm putting like the small, unique ones to the side. Do that. These are all black, but not big. These are pretty big. And these are pretty big. But now we're just mixing colors. What am I going to do with all this red? Jesus. Oh, the colors are easy. On this, so this is one of those sixes. Wait, sixes? Cause hang on, hold up. I think we need that for this, right? No. No, it's fours, fours and twos. How long is? It? Uh, eh? Yes. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I like the. Eh? I didn't think this would be so defeating, you know? Do you have a bowl? Like, <clears throat> like, a, like a regular bowl, you mean? Like a bowl of weed, not like a regular bowl. Also, I was like, what do you, who, what do you think I do at home? <laughs> yeah, I got like regular bowls, why? Because I want to put all the small parts in another area. Uh, you know what, actually, I got a container here. I heard Canada's gonna legalize weed. Yeah, July 1st, <laughs> 2018, baby! It doesn't affect me because I don't fucking smoke. Resorts to age three completes battle cruiser. <laughs> I figured it out. What? Someone said I resorted to age three, so then I started building the battle cruiser. And I was like, <laughs> I figured it out. We have to act like we're children. Uh, well, congratulations. I do that all the time. Not a problem. <laughs> Alright, we need these tiny little fucking things. I don't know what those are supposed to be. They're probably in these specialty bags over here. 
I guess you're in charge of looking at Twitch chat. I can't see him from this angle. And no, this isn't like a dad's not home, so act like shit bags type thing, okay? I see dad's you guys still. Not home. When do they give up and become life partners? Yep, that's how Battle Cruiser building goes. This is how I always plan to meet my future wife. Wasn't it like that joke that if you go to IKEA with your significant other, then you're almost guaranteed to break up? It was like a 30 rock episode. Maybe? <coughs> <sighs> so another thing that happened to me yesterday, I didn't tell you guys about the start of the stream, was I got hit by a car. And my left side really fucking hurts. But because my care card got stolen with a wallet, I can't really go to the hospital right now. Super duper sucks. Open! You gotta say the, the open sesame. Force it open. <clears throat> Was open sesame just like the world's first password? No. Why would they use one English word and one other word? What? Isn't it all English? Like open says me? I thought it was like sesame, like sesame seeds. That's not an English word. But I'm pretty sure they weren't saying well, open why would they use sesame, sesame seeds? seeds? Like it makes it open says me. I'm pretty, I, like, I was like so sure this is like some like 40s movies bullshit where they're like, we need to understand that, you know, we're American, but the thing we're talking about isn't. <laughs> What's what chat saying about it? Let's find out. Base treating on time. My entire healthcare to meet rip. My healthcare is better. We need 25k in cash, not some I mean, stupid card. We don't have to have a card of this all the time. <laughs> Just gotta pay 25k in cash. It's no big deal. <laughs> so much better. It's Italian, like it's a me, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door, says the me. <laughs> Open, says the me. <laughs> Luigi, get the princess. <laughs> I'll get the door. <laughs> Open, says the me. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, God. It does work in a Mario voice. Yeah, it does. Here Yo, we go. I can't. It's <laughs> not <laughs> Mario Kart, dude. <laughs> I always do that from the Mario Tennis. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna move on to the next part since we can't find this tiny little piece. So, I so yo, do you remember where you found this one? Because we need two more, of these. four more of these. Uh, yeah, it was one of the bags that I'm down here. Okay, on the court. Okay, there's one, there's two. <laughs> That's not like this thing. Whatever, guys. Y'all just, you're, you're not hardcore enough Nintendo fans to appreciate. Okay, I just need one more. This is something I miss actually, just that feeling of like rifling through a bunch of Lego, looking for like that one piece. Yeah. But then it's always that one fucking piece. There's no fucking smokestack. It doesn't exist. Smokestack? What are you talking about? That little thing we need that looks like it's like two things popping out. <coughs> well, here, I kind of looked through these, but I didn't find any. Maybe when you unload them, you'll see them better. There's a, there's a bag in this bag. That's so fucking meta. <laughs> Need one more gray piece. I wonder what this rubber's for. There's a joke in there, but I'm not gonna make it. He's for you. You don't get me a baby. He's rubber. Cause you know, in England they call them rubbers. Sorry. 
What are you fucking doing, kid? Are you fucking serious right now? I am not cleaning this shit up. It's my bed. <laughs> it's my house. <laughs> Is he gonna trash the place and fucking leave? That's not cool, dog. It was the most controlled explosion ever. Move. Get your soft, feminine hands off me. <laughs> okay, we need really... I guess those, are, those will probably be in here. I'll look for those. Hmm? The rubber for the casting couch. <laughs> yeah, Zongram's got to go home tonight. Otherwise, we could totally do some casting on the couch. Oh, wait. Which one's going to be the back side? That's the back side. So that's... That side. Two in. Okay. Smokehouse! We found it! That kind of casting couch. Oh, you want us to like do porn on here? Is that what that was? Sorry, I thought you meant like an actual casting couch. Oh my Jesus, let me need another one. Okay, well I know the bag that's in there. These took forever to find. Like, and if we can talk about, look what we're building. It's a fucking brick. We're building a great brick out of great bricks. Like, that's all this is right now. Okay, so we're done with part three then. Kind of halfway through here. No, I'm done with that one. We're here, and I need to find that and three skinny, which I think are in here. Flat. Square flat? Yes. Okay, and then uh, skinny, three long. Might actually be in yours, because I don't see it. Okay, there's a bunch of fours. Can we just chop one off? Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I'm sure we'll deform the Lego and make us miss out on pieces we need later. No, I just see a lot of fives. There's a ton of fours. I don't see any threes in here. Well, you also need four. Hmm? You need two fours. I've got those here and here. Okay. See, I've got... Oh, wait. Got, what are we missing here? I got twos and... Oh, wait. Did I do this wrong? I did do this wrong. Hold <laughs> up. I need... um. Oh, I see. Those come off by one. Never mind. We're good. So here's where we're at. We're just missing these two pieces here on the side, and then this is complete. <coughs> I don't see them. The worst part is they're gonna look like fours, Bottom. right? Open, please. Thank you. What? <laughs> My shell's grabbed. Here, what am I doing? It's actually documentary about what happens in a starport. Huh? What we're doing? This is what this is what happens in a starport. Yeah, this is why shit takes so long to build. People are like, why do my battle cruisers just take like a minute and a half to build? This is fucking why. Yeah. Do we have everything on this page? Are we done? Yeah, dog. Well, we didn't. We never made the stand. Well, that, no, no. All right. We could try now that everything's out, I guess. <coughs> oh jeez. <laughs> but we're not. Fuck the stand. Mm, we're I past think it's it. Have to be a, a lot of these are the tiny little special pieces I put this way, though. We didn't unload in here. Although, where's I've the big blue things? Here's the blue things. I got the bracket. What are these even supposed to be? Oh, this is what connects to the stand, I guess. And I got twos later on. If this is for connecting to the stand, then we're just wasting our time building this piece. <laughs> Okay, I got four for later on here. <coughs> I got singles. All the single ladies. Love me. I wish we could play that card game on stream. That was actually so much fun. I really like that game. <laughs> it was very 
convoluted trying to get that done. <coughs> Alright, so what is this chunky thing here? Oh, that's too big. I think this is it. Does that have holes in the corners? I can't really see. Yeah. Okay, awesome. this is it then. Alright, we need a little triangle L bracket like to fill that. I put those down. Oh, you did. Nice. So I'm going to be so good at this. I try. Wait, you only give me one. I need two. <laughs> Homie? What? I need two. You only put one there. Huh. I don't even fucking know what we're making at this point. <laughs> so now I need one of the fours. Oh, uh, fours are in here. I got four. Well, hang on. What's this black thing? We need that. Because we got to do this side first. Oh. It's a big ol'. That's a, that's a weird misshapen block. So we got like, to find a T, a black T. Might be in this bag. By the looks of it. I think I found it. Cool. Black singles. Okay, so black singles. I have all the gray singles here. Got some white singles here. Ah. <coughs> oh, here I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. So, BRB. Oh shit, that little one fell underneath it. Posing like a French girl. Someone draw me. Boop. Boop. That's what I forgot.
don't fucking see a double black block. I did. I didn't stop to see who the fuck it was on Twitter. But how can Rifkin save esports when he can't even build a kid's toy? This is for you. Fuck you. Oh, do you want your water in? My drink's over there. Yeah, do you want to grab it for you? Sure. Your red water? I would just call this raspberry. It's not raspberry, though. It's black raspberry. It's blackberry, if anything. It's black raspberry. No, there's no such thing as a black raspberry. Black raspberry. Twist it. Frambois noir. Black raspberry. <laughs> Alright, what are we looking for? Where are we at with this thing? Um. Oh, I'm building this thing here. This part I haven't used yet. I built this. Are you proud of me? <laughs> 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 I want to be fully aware what what exactly it is that Zombie Group did. She built this. <laughs> she took one single black piece and put it on another <laughs> single black piece. And then I got stuck finding... I'm find so <laughs> unbelievably <laughs> proud. I have to find a double block now to put on it. V Fernandez, 1280, what up? Thank you for the three-month resub. This LEGO stream is fun. Fuck this LEGO stream. I need... I have more fun playing fucking solo queue and Overwatch than this goddamn this thing. Oh. Is it just two? You found it. <laughs> <laughs> Was it under the instructions? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no false alarm. <laughs> it wasn't. I was like, oh, you found it. <laughs> so you hid it from me like a fucking Easter egg or something? <laughs> like <laughs> oh, I expected you to take longer to find that. <laughs> ah, no, it's good. Let's see if it's in here. <clears throat> These are parts you're gonna need later, though. I don't see any pieces that look like that at all. <sighs> I don't know why this is here. It's not more back there. Black block and a big man. It's like a black block of two. Yeah, I don't... It's not attached to anything, right? Uh -huh. Guys, I'm serious. I think they fucking trolled us with this shit, you know? Shit. <laughs> you just, <laughs> just making it rain Legos. <laughs> well, what the fuck is this thing? They did it. That's bullshit. What? This is such an infuriating little thing to have to make. Okay, so this weird piece with a stick coming out of it. You see that? Do you see that at least? Because that goes on top of this that we that you already made so proudly. Me do good. And then another black single piece goes on top of it. I don't understand what this little sticky bit is. I suppose the music stuff. I should probably go put some more on. One sec. This is the weird pieces. They're weird. Ah! Thank you. Thank you, Artanis, my bro. <laughs> well, it's partially figuring it out and also just partially trying to hear you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm 
like the worst Blue the Halloween black foam, I want to see that package. What? Oh, black he wants foam. to see what it looks like. This? Oh, that's nice. I really cannot find either one of these parts. Stop, I'm cold. Oh, I see Jack, the temperature up. Oh, wait, see, that's what doesn't make sense. So you put it up to 28, but it's only at 22. I didn't put it up that high. It was on 12 or something, and then I pressed the button once, and it was like... But see, that's what I'm saying. This doesn't make sense. I actually don't understand how the heat in my apartment works. <laughs> Gonna go to bed watch my tablet. All right, take care, Marcos. Are you Yo, sure so they're not in there? I see a block that has two. Maybe I'm deceived. Some of them are connected, but they're connected to these weird things. Uh, uh, real quick, Marcos, before you take off and anyone else, um, we got a Facebook thing set up where nobody asks like any questions. There's like three questions on there. So if you guys have um, any questions you want us to ask the Korean players, or the, sorry, the players at the Korean house, but you're not going to be here because you're going to bed type thing, write them on Facebook, please. I Happily, happily going to answer them. Oh shit, is that new bit boss? This sounds like it is. Lumberjack, thousand bits. Not for the amazing job Rifkin and Zombie grabbing a thing to say this weekend, but instead for Rifkin's victorious BC proxy. Fuck yeah, Lumberjack, my man! Yeah! You don't need to build a Brattle Cruiser, you already Ooh. built one. Slowly, and then you guys make fun of my macro. <laughs> well. You're doing so well, there's nothing else to make fun of. Yeah, right? Of just everything's so perfect. That first game was so annoying. Um, I don't know if Stream caught this or not. I was telling Nate at least. Lena or not Lena, Gumio's hockeys are fucking weird. So his his right control is what sets the control groups, and his left control you have to hold to select the group. So pressing four doesn't grab the group that you you made. You have to press left control four to get the group that you made. That is fucking weird. So infuriating. Check these bags. <laughs> Mystery team, what time is it? Uh, it's at 6 p.m. Pacific. They should be waking up around now, and I think like an hour from now, right? <laughs> You have an hour, hour and a half for now. Yeah, yeah, real quick. Yes or no? I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. Mine's all, uh, scratched up. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I would love chat now to guess what's scratched, like, what is scratched up. What is scratched up? Everything. I need a new arm. <coughs> I swear to you, man. I don't fucking see either one of those pieces. I, I like, do not believe this. You know, here, hold this. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing under this wing thing. If there's a bag under here, I'm actually gonna be so mad. No, there's not. Uh, um, <laughs> we emptied all these bags. Oh, wait, no. There's only the bag inside a bag, right? Maybe it's in there? No, those are like non-Lego. They're like flat tops. Well, technically, this is all non-Lego. Sure. I looked at this. Before. I mean, I'm willing to admit that I'm blind or maybe...
to the computer, please. It's I gotta go through all these stupid cords because I set this up very poorly. So fam, who's who's the current boss? Because we can't see it. We like literally cannot see it. Oh yeah, I am the boss. Okay, so yeah, Lumberjack. You can pick um, whether you want a Rainer or a Kerrigan Pop fi final figure. This is assuming nobody ups you between now and the end of the stream, but um, we'll worry about that when it comes down to it. Oh, I see. You're building these little black towers on the side, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to skip ahead and start doing this one. Oh. Right. Well, he may have been the bit boss, but I think Yoda Cow just snacked it, snagged it away from him. 1,100 damage. I'm sure that's got to be a kill. Ah. I don't see any of these three blocks, though. Like, there should be ones that are this long. Have you seen any of these? This is like a solid block that's not like this little angled one. Like this one? Perfect. I need one more of those. So that looks like those are going between what you're go. building. Thank you. So I'm just stick this in. Now we do your thing. What? This is so pointless. Why? Yeah, this My thing's God, getting why? some heft to it. Why? I don't know how you found the small ones with the edge on them. Cause I'm I'm so fucking pro. Do you need me to look for more? Yeah. Here. Cause okay, this this comes from years of Lego experience, guys. The shitty small ones always fall to the bottom. So you. No, I've been searching there. Hmm. I said I know. I've been searching there. Yeah, but if you sift it top to bottom. It actually works better because you're dragging to the right. And before I can't find one though, and I'm just talking out my ass. <laughs> mm. At least what I did last time, so assume I find another one with it. It's the little stick thing like last time, right? That's what we're looking for? Yeah, two of them. Is there anything else I'm looking for while I'm in here? I need two more of the doubles. Okay, here's one. Oh shit, I just had it. Where to go? One. Two more of which? These ones. But I need another one of the cannon. Wait, sorry. That's three. Alright, so one more pointy thing and two two double here's the pointy thing. Thank you. Yo, I'm like a Lego bloodhound right now. So can you show me the piece again? Is it is it these ones? Mm -hmm. Is one more of those? Mm -hmm. I'm uh pretty good at finding tiny little things. I already found some of you. Need one more single gray. No, oh, I put it on the fire at her. Killing me, which my is my side, is I guess, more than my back. But so fucking useless. This is so stupid. Legos are the worst. I hate You're them. You're just bad at it, dude. Yeah. Okay. You're not doing that much better. Um, I have found a ton of pieces. Okay. I was finding pieces for the next step this entire time. And Some I found of which him, you used. And I found him in like two seconds, man. Oh my god. I've been collecting for these stages for quite some time. I forged all the nuts for winter. Yeah. Why? Why? Why is it gonna be a double block? Why do you do this? Why you have to be mid? I didn't want to do these Legos. Here's my idea. <laughs> well, how long we got? We got to kill like another hour still. Do you want to play Mass Effect? I'd rather play Mass Effect. I gotta finish this shitty, shitty shit, shit. Hey, zombie, shit. of that question I showed you earlier? Fuck. Uh, black, blue, yellow, white, or red? White!
Gotcha! Sorry guys, I'm doing some business stuff. I'm not just lying here. I'll, I'll be back to Legos in a sec. This is so stupid. I made the most useless fucking thing. I feel like whatever we're working so hard and so diligently on though is actually like a stupid fucking thing. Like I it's it connects to the stand. Mm. We're making the butt. The butt. Don't be fucking weird, man. What? People being fucking weird. Are so many weird in chat? Yeah. My mods are to sleep. Dom! Is that you? Ban that guy. What'd he say? Something inappropriate. I don't give him attention. Oh, okay, I see. This is about you or is about me? Both of us. about how we're both very clearly single. <laughs> what part of today makes it clear that we're single? <laughs> I know, right? It doesn't help. We're playing fucking balconies on a couch. Might as well be doing a fucking puzzle while watching Grey's Anatomy or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't put these pieces together. I'm weak. Are you fucking serious? You can't. For, you gotta put them on top of each other and squeeze them. Thank you. I put this one together. Okay, same put thing or what? Thing. Is this is this finished? Yeah, uh, yeah, because. Oh, did, uh, so we need the gray tower still, or do, are these these pieces here? I got them. Told you I've been foraging for winter. <laughs> been foraging long and hard in preparation of this Rifkin. Don't question. <laughs> Put Legos together apparently. My hands are that weak. What? I can't put them together. Are you serious? I don't know, man. I'm even weaker. <laughs> How can you do this? <laughs> How can you? You're giving me. <laughs> this is such a weird problem to have. Like, you guys don't understand. Zombie Grip is so cool. She does so many things well. And, like, she speaks different languages. She studies and tries hard for all these things. But then, like, something fucking simple like Lego, which is like, mm, you can't do it. And don't do it. You can't. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's my impression of you, by the way. Thank you, Mealy Mage, for the 2035. Mealy Mage, what's up? Hey, remember the good old days when stuff? It's been three years. Yo, Mealy Mage, you want to come see Power Rangers with us tonight? We're going to go to the Marine Drive Theater. You should come. This guy lives near you. Hmm? This guy lives near you. I don't know actually where he lives. I know that he just comes out to all the Vancouver stuff for oh. the meetups and stuff. But it's like the sky train. Yo, dude, meal mage. Uh, we're gonna do Power Rangers for like 7:15 or something. You should come. We don't have tickets yet or anything, but you should come. I feel like it's way too sunny for them to be in Vancouver. Is we're visiting ZG. <laughs> I know. It was it was literally rainy last night. Uh, no, she's she's over at my place. It's my place. We thought like she's already on the West Coast, and we gotta do this like AMA thing later. It would be uh, it'd be cool to just do it together. Cause why the fuck not? All right, so the black thing you got finished. What in the fuck? What? I'm so disappointed you right now. He's disappointed with how I stuck them together. Those weren't really put together. <laughs> They were put together, they snapped. Yeah, but they snapped and they're both like on angles. <laughs> they're supposed to line up. Who cares? You're killing me. You're killing me, Grub. What does We're AMA so stand for? This. Real this is question. the most painful thing I've ever done. And oh. I don't mean mentally. AMA stands for Ask Me Anything. Uh, I guess it's a, a, a UA Ask Us Anything, but um, 
one of the the Macherino rewards on the fundraiser that we have in the exclamation mark mega type exclamation mark mega in chat fundraiser was we do an AMA with the folks in the house. So we gave Jake like a hundred bucks. We said treat everyone to dinner or breakfast or whenever we do it, and uh, just have them chill out in front of the camera. So that is the plan. Uh. Every time I try to get Rifkin's attention, he doesn't see it. Like right now, dog? I didn't see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you just want to sleep, don't you? Everything hurts. <laughs> How could everything possibly hurt from building Legos? I don't usually sit in this position without back support all the time. Or with my head just constantly staring down. <laughs> okay, which, which step are we at now? Uh, I don't I'm missing know. these ones. I don't know how. Are they four blocks? One, two. Oh, I have so many of these. Where do those go, though? I don't see where these go. Oh, on the end. Oh, I have four for this part. I don't know why I'm so far ahead. There you go. Oh, this is sharp. Put your thumb down on the corner. No, you just said it was sharp. Yeah, it's like a thing sticking up out of it. I'm using this Lego to scratch my foot. I bet it hurts a lot. No, feels good. Yeah, Lego is painful to build. <laughs> Delivery at McDonald's is that thing? It is in Korea. Yeah, it is. Actually, it's funny. We had a little bit of minor drama with Gumiho, not like a lot, but like he was really insistent on getting McDonald's delivered to his room, and we're like, they don't. They don't do that here. So Jesse ended up having to drive him. <laughs> it's really awkward. So many All right, so rooms, these are for this so part. Ow! Yo, when you sleep, how do you sleep with your arms? Like, I sleep... I always sleep on an arm. How do you sleep with your arms? My arm's out this way because Apollo sleeps on it. That's actually really cute. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's what he does. Ah. Uh, so yeah, you got those parts. Wait, is this backwards? It's a backwards cruiser. <laughs> All of this is supposed to be here, so yeah, it's not it. my fault. <laughs> I don't have nails like you do to pick this off. This is bullshit. I don't have nails. You got more nails than I do. Maybe. <sighs> People do say I keep my nails long, but I don't understand that one. Yo, Mail Mage, uh, I don't know if you're still here. If you're going to come join us for the movies, just DM me on Twitter, dude. I'll poke you in a bit. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. So much of this is actually wrong. God damn it. This one's on me, though. This is actually on me. I just don't have the nails to pry these pieces off properly. I actually don't know how many it's piece of Oh, breaking everything. Hey, do you ever watch uh, Primitive Technology? No. You know what it is? I think so. Guy like builds uh, mud huts and stuff on YouTube. Okay. <coughs> I mean, do, do you watch that or no? No, I don't. Oh. I just feel like I pulled a primitive technology and I just figured out how to get these pieces off and I feel so fucking proud of myself right now, but I can't make that reference because somebody goes on the room now. Okay, so then the yellow part needs to be on this side and that's how I should have built it, okay. Where starts back here? so many pieces left. Yo, so if you guys didn't hear us talk about it already, we're going to be casting live at Austin, which is going to be a lot of fun. 
Discord WCS Austin, because apparently it's no longer Dreamhack Austin. It's just at Dreamhack Austin or some weird specific thing like that. So if you guys are going, I hope you come out and say hi. I feel like this is missing a step. How did we get to that point? What point? These pieces being down. Yeah, that's definitely the next step. Is th is it, was there three in there? There was a three. Okay, that's what it was. Like three pieces. <sighs> yeah, so we're going to be casting, like, you know, Lima Leagues and regular stuff and all that good things. But we'll be at... Uh, uh, Austin's gonna be our next big stop. Should be some good times. Sweet dreams are made of this. Good mind to think of. Travel the world and the seven seas. No, travel the world and the seven Z's. What did you say? The seven Z's, like, <laughs> get the little yeah, Z's above your head. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to catch me on? Fuck you, I did that on purpose for you, dog. <laughs> oh my god, Riffin, can I hang out with you, Dreamer Gossip? No, literally anyone except for Darius can hang out with us at Dreamer Gossip. Uh, I was watching that movie yesterday, actually. What movie? Tommy Boy. What movie? Huh? What movie? Tommy Boy. It has Chris Farley and uh, the guy who did the voice in Emperor's New Groove. I David Spade. Don't know what the movie about. Oh. Uh, well, At some point, Chris Farley puts on David Spade's jo uh, jacket and starts singing. <laughs> Because reasons? Well, he's kind of the fuck up in the movie, so he's trying to get the guy not to hate him anymore. But until he rips his coat. <laughs> fuck. I was just in Denver. Denver had me, and I'm pretty cool. Yeah, the French player. Hey. Some of you are such a sleuth. And I'm not trying to shame you, I'm just trying to identify you. I didn't have anyone sleep in my bed this this time, though. Are you proud of me? Thank you. I mean, do we want to just leave that there, or...? <laughs> no one no one would go back to the days in with me. <laughs> well, that one guy did. He could have been with a soldier, or a marine, or whatever the fuck. Him and his cousin. It's called a devil's three one. <laughs> a devil's three <threesome. laughs> They're at the same inn. Why would they sleep in my bed? I think in these scenarios, you're not really doing sleeping if we're going to be real. I was visiting family in Denver. I was there for three days. You're there for like two hours, doesn't count. WTF? Lament. Lament. Have been able to watch in a while, catching up on past broadcasts. Your it's your faces. Oh. Thank you. I guess this has really just devolved into the Riff can do the Battle Cruisers, I'm going to do the chat stream, and that that's okay. Well, you had to redo some of it. And now I'm wishing we would just play Mass Effect. I mean, the, so here's my only qualm with that. It's going to take us so long to tear no. down the audio setup <laughs> so that you could play Mass Effect. Cheating on Alive. Alive didn't even talk to me in the event. Yeah, I wanted to do something with that, but Alive was surprisingly standoffish. Like, he's actually very friendly online. But he uh, he didn't have time for nobody to do Come nothing. Back and slept. Every time. Yeah, I mean, I understand sleeping. I wish I could have slept more at the event. Would have more energy to hang out with people. You're building a battle cruiser. Hey, do you know where these square blocks are? The square gray ones? Square gray ones. Oh, wait. Got them. Two. You could just talk to the chat and lay down like French people. 
I mean, you kind of got this really great pose going on as is. Is someone ready to draw her? Yeah, live skip Korean barbecue. That's how you know he really hates us. Feels bad, man. Boris almost skipped Korean barbecue because he was asleep. <laughs> Yeah. Poor guy shows up as we're all like halfway through eating. I was like, oh, Boris, have like half my bulgogi, bro. I feel so bad. Do you remember where we got the L shaped gray ones? Oh, here's one. I demand Korean tonight. You what, sir? I demand Korean. You just had Korean. Uh -uh. With all the Koreans. Two days ago. If you can find a Korean place, we can go. I looked at you and you just had Subway Brifkin. Well, bitch, what'd you say? <laughs> 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 you fucking watch yourself. <laughs> You'll be out on the street tonight. CG, you're paying. You can have anything you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am, guys. It actually it without even noticing. All all jokes aside, it sucks not having my credit cards because I I guess like I've just become so used. Like I haven't had cash in forever. I don't have like twenty dollars lying around that I can just like fall back on. Like I've just used my credit cards for everything for the longest okay. time. Just get some Monopoly bills and do the same thing. Okay, so according to this, we are technically done with this under section. That's a battle cruiser. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Do, do you see the little guns here in the front, guys? <laughs> With enough imagination. <laughs> I can't even do what I was going to do with it. It's so stupid. <laughs> Set my lasers to stun. <laughs> I know, it looks like a fucking little Star Wars. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gareth Lewin in chat. What's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> We're having a bit of a hangout session trying to build a Lego battle cruiser, and it is not going very well. She yeah, is very doctor. bad at building Lego. <laughs> Actually, now this kind of looks like a security camera that you would have on like, the top of the... Like, just... I never signed up for this. It's the end of the broadcast, and you're like, and we're going to be building a battle cruiser. Well, what? we had talked about this before. I didn't bring it out of nowhere. I don't think I ever were committing to it. <laughs> <laughs> we can just build like, the Lego battle cruiser. Okay, how many pages uh, is this next part? Because if this is actually going to be like seven pages, we'll just go set up for something else. It's like three, it's not that bad. This is what the finished one will look like, I guess. And I think these are either gonna be the jets or the neck of the battle cruiser. I don't know which. It looks like the neck, or anything else. It's clearly a phaser. They make StarCraft Lego sets? No, th so this is like a discontinued mm -hmm. thing. I don't even know how you got this, to be honest. But it's like from 2013 BlizzCon, and uh, Zombie Up got it for me for my birthday last year. Is that a real clock? Or is he really here for three months? It's an illusion. I'd give my liver for this Lego set right now? Well, I don't want your liver. Sorry, dude. Ugh. All right, there's the first piece. Water. Is this a double sided block? I'm so tired. <laughs> you were drinking that in the most lazy way you possibly could. <laughs> you can't even lift it to give you the angle <laughs> for which you could drink it. There's not enough of it. <laughs> I just went down there. Red water. <laughs> Can you believe this? <laughs> it's so close. <laughs> Just tip it off. <laughs> I'm glad they can't hear that. I can. <laughs> no, they can't. <laughs> <laughs> I 
am being helpful. <laughs> you are not being helpful. Help, guys. Send help to me. <laughs> Please. It's really cold in here. It's so not cold. <laughs> Can you not get us banned on Twitch, please? <laughs> I'm like, it is not cold in here. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Look over. You're so stupid. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. <laughs> I'm so done with this. <laughs> you wish we were drunk. That would explain a lot more things. It would make this a lot more understandable, that's for sure. Not chat. that my 26 year old friend is an idiot with a mind of a three year old. I broke chat, it's not working anymore. You broke me. <clears throat> what time is it? How long till they're ready for the thing? I don't have a watch. You have a phone! The phone's over to your right. <laughs> oh my god, damn it! It's charging! That is fair. Hey, Admiral Awesome! Dude, Admiral Awesome, we were looking for Brazilian barbecue, man. We were. Feels bad. There's nothing close. And nothing to do after Brazilian barbecue either. <laughs> Thanks to the 34 month reset. That took me a minute. <laughs> I'm like, what are you taught? You just eat and go home. Oh, we didn't go home. That's right. <laughs> Do we ever tell Twitch this story? Should we ever tell Twitch this story? I thought at the end of it we said we never can never tell this story again. Oh, you're right. We gotta keep that that promise going. I kind of forget why though. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember why. Because of the names. <laughs> No, that makes the story better. I, I wouldn't want to tell it because of how much fucking money we spent. Because you what? How much money we spent. <laughs> how much money I spent, by the way, you accepting that vodka drink that was like $20. Yeah, that's, that was funny. Like, so by the way, you're going to have to pay Rifkin. Like, oh, cool. I did, so I did not say that. Someone else said that. I didn't know that was the case. Yeah, no, no, it was the, the bartender said that. <laughs> yeah. You guys will never know what we're talking about. Way to go. Only a few special people. Scarlet knows. <laughs> <laughs> Red Scarlet. That's not her name. White Scarlet. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> I guess technically someone could ask about that on the AMA. <clears throat> I want to get a response on the AM page. <laughs> if someone writes on the Facebook page, maybe we'll answer it. <laughs> like, nobody used their Facebook page. I'm now real. <laughs> like, I'm fully aware for this AMA. We probably should have done Team Liquid or Reddit. But I thought, let's try and let's try and use our Facebook for once. Oh, now I'm really tired after you being a dummy and make me laugh. TK Walsh, you don't know this story. He might if we were dumb and talking about Wouldn't Red thing. Scarlet be redundant? Well, Here's you didn't come up with that. Master. That high five was for whoever said that in chat because Zombie was not clever enough to come with that on her own. I'm not. <coughs> you remember? There's four. No, there's six people that know this story. <laughs> this used to be a Battle Cruiser stream. <laughs> and I don't think he talked to any of the six people that. Uh, well, I, I don't think they would have told you. <laughs> I may have told CK Walsh, actually. I don't know. Was Rifkin drunk? Or did he betray the pact? Dog, I don't remember. I may have told him, okay? <laughs> no, well, the thing is, it's not Red Scarlet, so I don't know why you would remember that. Yeah, it's not Red Scarlet. It's... <laughs> The color. <laughs> they could also just ask Scarlet, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they could do the AMA to either us or to them. What's the thing Base Trade won't talk about with Sasha? Why are they making Oh, I actually might have broke the pact. 
<laughs> oh, 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 you're giving me crap, it was you. <laughs> when did you break the pack? Okay, so maybe like 12 people now. <laughs> this just doubled, dog. That's not a small amount. For never talk about it again, that went from 6 to 12 real quick. I actually don't remember if I told it or not. And then did you tell any of them not to tell other people? Because <laughs> they probably just told other people. Everyone actually knows the story. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't think they remember either. We're all kind of drunk. What's the point of a blood pack if no one pays attention we to the did rules? We not do a blood pack. Blood pack. That just calm down there. What have I turned into? Thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime for three months in a row. You tuned into us. Heck. Heck, how? We were at one time trying to build a battle cruiser out of Mega Blocks, and then. Zombie Rob's really bad at Lego. Catastrophic told me she knows? Catas catastrophically bad at Legos. Is that Cat's name on Twitter right now? Oh, Catastrophic? I love Cat. We told her and, and Sasha at uh, when we were in Toronto, remember? Yeah, that's so why I said, is that Cat? I didn't know her name was Catastrophic right now. I don't but yeah, we did, tell, we did tell her that story. And one other person, Annie. I didn't tell Annie. Did you fucking tell Annie? No, but we were we were in a Uber together, and there was one other person. And wasn't that Annie? <laughs> this was at. Uh, I'm not. Fr I I didn't meet Annie until Disneyland, dog. Yeah, you're right. When did we tell Cat? When we were at uh, Denny's with her in Scarlet. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no one else is there. <laughs> <laughs> I had the piece to start this. Where did it go? You're the only one who's been up here <laughs> as I've been on I the floor. I haven't touched the Legos. Is that it? Yes, this is it. You probably threw it when you fell down. Because that's what I, I was like. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, it was more like you did this. Zombie grub. Actually, That's what you did. Where did it go just now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> I just like how sad he looks and sounds when he does that. It's like he's like he's like. I don't know where it went. <laughs> I, I, I actually don't know where it went. Yeah, it went one of the boxes or the laundry thing. <laughs> Definitely went that direction. It's at the box. <laughs> We're never finishing it now. Got my my marine figurines in the box. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, this battle cruiser is not very to scale. If this is the size of a marine. <laughs> Ninety percent sure I've heard this story, and there's one location that I think would confirm it, but I don't want to say it on stream. And Yo, just say it on stream. Does. Zombie Rob's clearly itching to tell this fucking story, anyways, because she's horrible at keeping secrets. Because I might have told someone, you also <laughs> might have told the person I'm talking to. No, I didn't clearly. I don't know. Just say it. It's dra drama, guys. <laughs> Who just who just killed, did someone kill the bits boss battle or did they no, just it's contribute? The same guy, Yoda Cow, right? Yoda Cow, blood pack. What's up, buddy? Thanks for the bits. <clears throat> I fart talking. <laughs> Holy crap! Does anyone recognize this and know what this is from? I don't even know why I have this. Holy Jesus! Do you know what this is? No. It's for the Xbox controller. So you oh, can plug oh, a microphone into it. Did you just throw that at me? <laughs> I did. You threw so many things at me. When I go to someone else's house, I don't start throwing shit at them, dog. <clears throat> yeah, you can heal yourself if you're the boss. Huh? So oh, was he the current boss and he healed himself up? Yeah, I think so. Yo, Yoda Cow wants that Rainer Kerrigan figurine. Did you ever say what you thought it was, CK Wash? <clears throat> Like, just say it in chat, dog. 
I need to see who, who broke the pact. Yo, so I don't know if anyone ever played a, um, Titanfall. But this is my Titan. The Atlas. But here's the best part. It actually shoots. So. Wow, you're actually kind of close, CK Walsh. But that is not correct. Oh, why is that shooting? <laughs> There we go. You know, I think I actually might have been there when he told that story to CK Walsh. It's, it's right here. No, it's not. Where is it? <laughs> that was either really good or really bad throw. I don't know which. there and you asked me if I could tell it if you could tell it ah that means you gave me permission and I'm not at fault and that's true get wrecked <laughs> this is such a dumb thing to be arguing over <laughs> <clears throat> you definitely weren't there when we were talking at PAX see you walsh you're not know, sewing down the river Okay. I feel like I remember Rifkin asking me about like telling the story, but maybe that was too cat. Oh, do we have new bits? New bits, boss? No, it's the same guy. Oh, Yodakal wants Yodakal. to just... He's healing the crap out of himself. Story, story, story. You gotta ask on the AMA. Yeah, just ask on the AMA, dude. Uh, go to our Facebook and, and post it there. Okay, here we go, guys. We started with a battle cruiser. We ended up with a Titan from a different, a, a different game. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Yamato cannon right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's this pitiful shot. Oh, hey, I found the piece. Told ya. Nice. Uh, if I fall, I can get wrecked when I play racquetball. Oh, I say get wrecked. Get wrecked. I think you started, stopped yourself, and didn't tell me. <laughs> <clears throat> Is that next? Huh? Mod sent Someone send him the Facebook page. Hello, ladies. You're inside out. <laughs> How are you two doing? If these were actual ladies. They would be Do like, you? Oh my god, that person's insides are on their outsides. <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> like, we'd have a Facebook command. No one uses Facebook. Okay, <laughs> is that better? Where's your, where's your mouth? Right here! Isn't that obvious? No. Where are you, Mrs. Doubtfire? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, dearie! <laughs> <laughs> Hello!
I don't know what it's splashing. It's red. <laughs> it's red water. <laughs> it's all over the place. Okay. Anyways, uh, it's it's really cool that know that we're in a position where we can sponsor somebody like Buell. Cards on the table, guys. Like Zombie Grub and I are far from rich, and frankly, it's probably still more money if we had like a full time regular job. But I love doing StarCraft. Yeah. I love meeting people like at these events, and like I would never get that working at like a desk job or something. So, um, it feels really good knowing that. And as far as like tournaments and stuff, it's cool. Sometimes it's frustrating though because I think that uh, <clears throat> try to phrase this tactfully. Sometimes players I don't think appreciate what we do as much as as like the fans do, for example, hmm. and. I'm not talking about any one player here. This is not like throwing shade, passive aggressiveness. But once in a while, just you'll talk to some people, and it feels like a thing where we do get taken for granted from time to time. But then when it comes to making a Twitter post or Reddit post, they're like, "Oh yeah, those base trade TV guys are great. Support them." And then when the time to support us comes, like they, that person won't type thing, you know? Hmm. <clears throat> I uh, I don't really think about it saving StarCraft every day. Or even when we do a really cool tournament. And I'll think about it like... We can show our socks, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I don't think about that saving esports. I just think about it as like just continuing to do something that's really cool. So, are we in a position where we're basically saving StarCraft 2? Not quite. We're a big part of it, though. That's <laughs> for sure. We're a pretty big part of it. Um, <clears throat> and that's just like something I don't think about all the time. I just think about how cool it is to be having this job yeah like this the cool factor for this weighs out working every day i well so actually that's funny because i think back to like even a year and a half ago where we didn't have anything to cast and we were still begging other people to let us cast and even then it'd be yeah. like at most like two days a week sometimes i like the weekly grind sometimes and sometimes i don't sometimes i really wish we just had like a week off right mm -hmm. but being live every day, it's only for like four to six hours, so it's shorter than like regular jobs. Um, but I think I, I just I like what we do enough, and I guess this is kind of going outside the realms of the question. Zombie Rub and I have actually been through a lot that you guys have never seen on camera, and I'm glad that we're in a position now where we we can just totally hang out like this. You come to my place in Vancouver on your way home, we do like an AMA type thing. Like, there's a lot we've been able to do with StarCraft and Base Trade TV and whatever the realm of saving things is. So I'm really glad um, for all of it, really. So I'll, I'll, to answer the question in short, like, it feels good, but at the same time, it can sometimes feel bad. <laughs> but that's a shitty answer, so that's why we went the long way. Uh, next question is, I guess, for Scarlet, so we'll, we'll forward that later. Nathan Truscott Clark wants to know if you mad bro, but I'm not sure who that's directed at. Well, I'm usually the one that's already always angry on Twitter. So. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving along. I'm not mad. By, <clears throat> the way. by the way, again, we're we're currently taking the questions off Facebook as priority. If anyone wants to ask a question on Facebook, do it there quick. We'll refresh the page. <laughs> um, I'm not even gonna guarantee we'll take questions from Twitch chat because that's what we normally do stuff from Twitch chat. But um, Brad Dodd wants to know when is Neeb coming back? Winky face. Actually, we met this guy this weekend. I remember his face. Yeah. So. Neeb, I talked to him about this actually at the Ting Open finals. Uh, Neeb wants to go back to Korea. It's kind yeah. of undetermined. He says, like, ideally he'd go for Season 3 GSL, try and qualify, There's try and play. There's a lot of people talking about later and later being GSL Season 3. Yeah. So. I know um, Drogo came out mm -hmm. and sort of was delayed, but they, they both came out specifically for GSL Season 2. But they're still planning to play, like, Challenger for Europe and all these other things. So as far as when is Neeb coming back, we don't know. But he's he's been in talks with us pretty frequently about it, so it's not like as well as Jake and Scarlet and everyone, like we're all very much in the loop. It's just there's no confirmed time. Uh Marcos, hey, he uh he had to leave earlier, but he wants to know what is your favorite Korean food? Oh. I'm assuming it's Korean and not Kentucky rice or something. <laughs> um <clears throat> That's a good question. I guess well, right now I constantly have like this this like uh what's what's the word craving cravings i always have cravings to go to korean barbecue for bude jjigae which is army stew i'm sorry did you just say a word bude jjigae it's two words i love that girl's bude jjigae <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is jjigaeing 
<laughs> she gay. <laughs> that booty, she gay. <laughs> girl like other girl. <laughs> booty, she gay. <laughs> um, but <laughs> pretend I didn't do that, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what I like. I'm not sure that I have a fate. Like all of it is so good, to be honest. I just I don't know. I don't know. See, I I'm 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 weird about this because I have not love for Korean food, and not to say like I don't like I don't hate it, but I definitely don't like it. Like it's spicy, and that's not like my preferred flavor of food. But I'm also not gonna choose starvation over Korean food. So for me, like I'm just gonna say chicken because the Korean style chicken was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was. Even though it wasn't like super dynamic, you're like, well, that's really distinctive and unique to Korea. <laughs> Uh, some more questions. Come. Oh, people are actually posting as we go, too, by the way. Oh, my God. Facebook is being used. Yeah, what's going on? All right. Instant torture um, increase from 20 Be- <laughs> Beta says, I need this blood pack story, question mark. The answer to that is, yes, you do, but you should have asked what it is. Uh- <laughs> oh! Oh, you fucked up. <laughs> Matthew Orton says, when will the origin movie of BTTV get made? Uh, well, how long did Sons of Starcraft take? <laughs> Yeah, right, and, and how much was that well received? Uh, and I had a huge budget. Uh, Our budget would be $5, a cardboard box, and maybe a camera from the 60s. <laughs> the 60s. So it's color. It's Nail like, it. Poof. <laughs> got, like, the smoke. Oh, out. the 1860s. Oh, yeah, I see. The 18- <laughs> <laughs> no, I intend to, but yeah, let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. Um... I don't know. Like, what would an origin story really be? We we don't really have a crazy. I, like I have a crazy origin story for Base Trade TV, but we don't have like a crazy origin story for us making Base Trade TV what it is now. I think there's actually like. Oh my god! No, can we? We need to do like a bad home movies reenactment of the whole Vera Lynn situation. You can play Vera Lynn. Wow! <laughs> I, <be> like... <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> The, uh, I guess, for those who don't know, because some people might not know this story, the TLDR, I, I'm not going to go through the long version, but basically, myself, Penguin, Bad Fat Panda, and Doom, the only names you'll probably recognize are Penguin, obviously, myself, and Doom, who's the owner and runs sc2links.com, we all used to work on this channel called Zeke TV. Zeke TV turned out to be a, <laughs> a massive mistake, but we all loved hanging out with each other on the weekends, and this wasn't a job. I was still working when this was going on. So this was like every Saturday, Sunday, we'd cast some Zotac up, and it was kind of fun. So we decided, fuck it, let's make our own thing. Like, why not? I had a friend who lent us like a couple hundred bucks to get us started, um, which, by the way, I was never more proud than when I could pay him back about a summer and a half later. But, um, yes, yeah, so we started Base Trade TV, and that's that's that. From then on, I think it was like a couple months before I ran into you, finally, yeah. got, finally got the stream partnered, all There's this There's actually a lot of interesting stories about pre and like during building base trade tv i think a documentary actually could be filled legitimately but there's no potential you, to you, make one. i feel like you can make a documentary on, on a lot of our tournament experiences actually like like how it's about time and talk about like the the behind the scenes horror stories that happen there like like the power being stolen from the building next door true, and shit like yeah. that Actually, I was, I was gonna do like a recap video of nation wars before well basically i got lazy and didn't want to do it it's not it's not like i got lazy i actually finished it to be honest, and I rendered it, and I didn't like how it came out, so I stopped. Hey, Rymir19, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, dude. Um, <clears throat> but during that, I was going to do a recollection of all the live events I've been to, and I did it. I, I downloaded, like, clips of any time I was at a live event, and oh boy, I did not like that. That was like going through your yearbook when you were, like, in awkward teenage years, which I also did, and it was not fun. So, there's actually a lot of cool stories. I think if you ask anyone who's, like, you like in esports who's in esports and they're gonna have really interesting stories yeah uh especially the best the best is when you you, you if you meet them at a venue they're not gonna have time to talk yeah but afterwards at the hotel and the bar like even tasis will tell you some of the most crazy shit you would never yeah, expect Tezis to hear has, like, like really cool stories yeah the lime thing always gets me but that's a story you'll have to ask him uh so followed up by tim wi-fi frederick says to both favorite match you have cast to date this is hard because you know what if, I don't remember so many of them but so yeah here's the thing right we 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 actually cast I will say as far as five to ten times more than any other caster out there and we've definitely had a lot of phenomenal games <laughs> but honestly if we had the ability to change the memories Terminator the kink is dead long live the king I'm not sure if that was a mistype or some sort of like ethnic slur like <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Terminator is a good boy Canadian. But yo, a thousand Muxies comes in. King of the stream. Muxies. Uh, quick reminder too, if whoever is the, the bit boss, when, whenever the stream goes down later, uh, we'll contact you, give you a signed copy of either a Rainer figurine or a Kerrigan figurine. It'll be your choice. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll be the boss loot, I guess we could call it. Yeah. So the answer is we aren't sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, you know, I would say if I had to pick one though that I could think of, I think the Snoot Neep game on on Invasion, just because we will never see another game like that ever. So fucking stupid. It was so fucking stupid. So also amazing watching Snoot's thought process of what to do to break them. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, this game we reference sometimes on stream. Where Snoot had actually been unable to break Neeb's turtle Protoss style and chose to instead go like 90 to like 100 drones and just savagely mine out his side of the map. So they could then sacrifice all of his workers, all of his queens, and make room for pure army supply. And this is like 15 or 20,000 minerals in the bank, or even 30k, I don't remember. But the point is he maxed out on pure ultra. 200 supply of just ultralisks and lings and army units. No no BS being wasted. And even the other hand, had spent his time mining on his side of the map, building like 100 cannons and storms and other bullshit. <laughs> so I will say for me, that's one of my favorite games just because it was so unique. And it was a pro game with money on the line and not some weird ladder match, right? Mm. Uh, next question. Cullen wants to know... Okay, see, this is how you ask the question. What's the story with Scarlet? Uh, but Colin, it's not, uh, that's not that's not the story either. You done fucked up, man. Like you guys are terrible asking this question. Oh, you know what? That's right. Although he may be asking, what's the story in regards to the references to Scarlet? Yeah, we didn't say that, so we didn't get bad at technicality again. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to refresh it later and hope someone asks the right yeah, question. Right. Um, <laughs> I mean, I have stories with Scarlet. I mean, you're telling those stories. Uh, yeah. Well, you 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 spent like a month in Korea. Why don't you give us like. What's a fun Scarlet story from there that you may, someone may or may not have heard? Oh. Okay. Now I'm on the spot. Um, I don't, we did, like, a lot of stuff, but it was, like, a lot of small stuff. So, I mean, most of the time we were just hanging out in their house watching movies. Like, watching Disney movies. <laughs> and hanging out. That's with the story you should tell right there. Like, people <laughs> don't know this. Scarlet doesn't... Has never seen any fucking Disney movies. Oh, I'm pretty movies. sure she's complained about it before. But anyone who hasn't heard me complain about it before, she does not know any Disney movies. So, like, she sort of remembers watching The Lion King, but not really. So, at the summit, I made her watch Hercules, because she watched Mulan on her own. She didn't like Hercules, she liked Mulan. And then, in Korea, I made her watch um, Aladdin. That's right. Me, Annie, Sasha, and, and Reed were all watching Annie. Um, <laughs> we're all watching... Uh, Aladdin <clears throat> and we woke Jake up and felt a little bad but I guess also what happened was like before we even got there we were hanging out we had the octopus meal and we were on our way back to their apartment and we rounded a corner and someone like taps him on the shoulder and I'm like oh great like this guy wants to smoke or something right and he's like is that Scarlet and I was like oh yeah it's Scarlet so he's like so excited so of course I call over Scarlet and he like like him and his friends were just hanging out at a bar in Korea and recognized her and like took pictures with her but they made it like like I don't mind like this happens all the time if you hang with Scarlet no matter who you are really she's Probably, like, famous the most popular person and he's like in Starcraft I think she transcends maybe even like tasting her toasts in a lot of aspects oh, that pisses me off right there so badly <laughs> but uh they did, like, they, I was just standing watching them taking pictures, and the guy, like, kind of looks at me, and he's like, well, I know you are, too. But I was like, oh, yeah, that's that's fine. Like, you don't have to say that. <laughs> You're not taking a picture with me. It's fine. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting, because I, I don't think we're at this point where I'm expecting us to really be recognized on the streets. But we have been a couple of times, like, in Germany and we're in Toronto. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, certainly around conventions. Uh, but okay, Matthew Orton follows up asking, when will Bjorn make his triumphant debut on Team Looking for a Team? When he's off of a team. Yeah, Bjorn's on Team <laughs> Expert. He's kind of good to go. They require nothing of him and give him money. Uh, will Archon tournaments come back sometime? Same question, same person, same question. Uh, I, I don't know the question. I wish. Yeah, I the, wish. The problem is we actually don't have access to the development tools to even make mods that would appropriate and fix some of the simple things we think would make Archon mode great, but Blizzard does. And we've brought this up. I have been very actually adamant about this at, at a lot of these meetings we go to with them. And I always get the same, like, oh, it's a great idea. 
but then nothing ever happens yeah. with it. And I'm pretty sure they're not working on it. Uh, they kind of silently remove the FFA ladder. I'm sure at some point they'll eventually remove the Archon ladder at the rate it's going. I oh, really God. am sad about that because I, I thought Archon had a lot of cool potential. He's really had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, you and I, man. GM. What's yeah, up? Yeah, we made GM. Just saying. Actually, the Masters promotion, though, was the best one. We I beat know, that you, cheater. You <laughs> all right, all right. Same guy. Another question says, uh, are Americans behind the milk in a bag game? No, we're just ahead of the stupid idea called milk in a bag. <laughs> I've still never seen it. I've seen it online and I know about it, but I've never experienced milk in a bag firsthand. It's so dumb. You have to put it in a container. Why not just put it in a container you can use? Right off the bat. <laughs> All right, this one comes from, and I'm sorry if I butcher this name, Rizalyn Blanchard. Uh, what is the biggest change going forward you would like to make base trade TV or make to base trade TV oh, in order to easy. take it to the next level? We would like to get a studio. I think a studio would be great, but if we're going to work within this realm where we don't have a studio, um, the I, I think the best thing is just more live events. It's I used to th okay. So when this started, sorry, one sec. I used to think like doing more live events would be more experience, so that we would be more eligible to be hired to cast like for an ESL IEM or something. Mm. Um, and it's become very clear since then that. One of the two of us has that option, and one of the two of us does not. So in my realm of limitations, and not in this imaginary world where anything can happen, I think, honestly, more live events is good because it helps us connect with the fans a lot more. Like, I love you guys here, here you are on Twitch with us. and we can. But the thing is, we, we literally, no matter how much we try and show affection or be friends with you, we can only do it to a point. There's nothing like shaking the hand of a dude in person, buying him a drink at the hotel after an event, or just a hug. Like it, yeah. It's really hard to connect to your fans more than we do right now without there being a live event. And I think this weekend with the Ting Open, that was huge for me. There's a lot of people I had never met before. Some who had never actually watched StarCraft before that came to the event just because it was in the area, and they, they loved it. They told us that we saw tweets. We actually had firsthand like, counters. I think the ability to do more live events is probably the best way for us to step our game up within my realm of limitations. But I want you to answer this in a realm of no limitations. So studio? No yeah, I think a studio. Cause like, I think for studio stuff, like it's so much more than just casting together in a studio. Like I think we can do a lot more stuff if we had a venue, basically, that we could do. Like we could do American style home story cups or Canadian style, wherever the vi like the studio could be. Yeah. We could like house players in a mini training camp if they had to go next door at a tournament a month later or something like that. We could do Attack of the Show style, like this type of shit. Attack here. of the Show is like super fun. Yeah, this type of shit right here on like a regular basis. So. Yeah, like this, this, I love doing this. We can't really do this online. Uh, just sit next to each other and, and answer questions, shoot the shit, or build battle cruisers. Yep. Um, but I think one of the other parts of that, too, is for those who don't know, because, like I said, for me, it's running more live events. It kind of falls under the category of a studio. But to give you guys an idea, like a, a, a decent venue, not anything amazing, it's probably going to cost between five and $10,000 a day to rent out. Oh, Yodokao. He just slayed the dragon, dude. He's the Terminator I want. I want that sign figurine. <laughs> Yo, Yodokal, just question. You more into Rainer or Kerrigan? <laughs> um, but anyways, like, like we were looking... When we first did Hell's Boot Time, we looked at some places, and there was like some, some sports bars that had a theater-sized wall oh, of Jesus. TVs. Yeah. And that was $55,000. Not for a day, for eight hours. So... Having some place we could regularly bring people to, that is so cost efficient. But yep. one of the problems we, we've actually run into is uh, being cross, like, international. Yeah, that's like, generally the main problem. If we were making the same amount of money or even less than what we have right now, we could set up a studio if she was also Canadian or if I was also American. But neither of us really qualify for visas to get to live in the – or work, more importantly, in the other's country – and you're limited to spending like six months or yeah. something like that. So it, it really sucks to consider you would invest in a place like, like if some of you invest in a cool studio, one of us would not be able to use it for, for half the year, literally. Then that's even less than that time too, because you consider we want to be in the States for events. So you suddenly have to time budget in a week for DreamHack and a week for IEM and a week for BlizzCon. Like it sucks. It really sucks. So yeah. We definitely know where we want to go, and we have, like, ideas of things to become bigger and better.
there's only so much we can do. I would also say if we could find like more people to work with. Like right now, I'm really excited that Maynard and Zeph are going to be casting the VSL for us. Mm -hmm. I love the VSL and I'd love to keep casting it, but by them casting it, it gives them some exposure. It gives them some pay because for those who don't know, we are paying them whatever we would have earned on that cast. And further by the fact that it, it frees our opportunities up to do other mm -hmm. things and, yep. and put more stuff in. And I don't mean, when I say other things, I don't mean so we can go play Mass Effect like more, but so we can actually do a different <laughs> cast on a different day. Uh, Cullen asks, are there any players you've wanted to cast and or meet in person that you haven't had a chance to yet? Yet? Okay, so not from the past then. <laughs> um, well, I mean, you've met Boxer. <laughs> Yeah, but I, d I never really met Idra. Hmm. So I probably would have said that if it was the past thing. But, like, players that are still here or, like, go to events even if they don't play anymore, and, like, I would be, like, I would really want to meet. I'm trying to think. Like, uh, we've, we've actually had the luxury. So the first part of this is casting. I think we've actually cast everybody at some yeah, point. Yeah, we don't have any. Like, maybe a year ago we'd say, like, oh, we don't get to cast innovation very much anymore because IEM qualifiers don't happen and blah, blah, blah. But yeah. we do that all the time now. I think, like, I might have said alive in Gumiho, like the guys who appear in the Lima League every single like weekend and all the BTSLs, but we just met them, so <laughs> they don't count anymore either. Yeah, Gumiho was actually a, definitely someone I met briefly when we were in uh, the Busan, but it was such a short and five minute experience, I didn't really remember it. Yeah, I mean, I I, I met I kind of met Zest. Like it'd really just be the Koreans, and it'd only be the Koreans because I've think, seen them, but I haven't gone up to them. If if we change the question a little bit, someone you could probably hang out with for a day, I think. Yeah, maybe that's a better question. Like, who would I want to hang out with for a day? Um, Zest. And a little bit of the night, too. Ha! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey! <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure about that question either, though. Uh, you know what? If, if it... Because the thing is, like, I'm sorry to morph your question here, CK Welsh. Um... This is we, we we have pretty much met or cast most people briefly or or not. I think if I could hang out for a day though, I would hang out with Snoot for a day. I fucking love Snoot. He does like he's, Snoot a lot. Yeah. Snoot is really <laughs> funny and I enjoy hanging out with him and he's he's like a really humble dude. I would have said tasteless, but I did that in Korea. <laughs> Actually, Snoot Snoot a man, he made me miss him so much and now we're gonna wait till Austin to see him again. But that uh that card game you had, we definitely did bring out again. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, okay, so Theron, or sorry, Theron Lemon. Oh, I think that's Therminator, actually. Uh, do you ever walk up slowly and down Smash? I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I think it's like a joke about Smash, but I'm not sure. Like Brothers? Yeah, like Smash, Smash Brothers. Just walk up and smash. We don't get it. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't Smash. I don't Smash. Wait, why did hitting that just repeat all the questions? This Facebook sucks balls. Oh, because it's got new ones down here. <laughs> Where that? Okay, hang on. We got some new ones. Sorry, it, it like refreshed all stupid. Uh, walk down smash. Okay, Patrick Kennedy. Fuck you, Patrick Kennedy. I know who you are. Says, for Grubkin, what did you do before base trade TV fame? Oh, okay. That's easy. You first? Sure. Uh, I, was a, I was a security guard, actually, for a while. Mm. Um, mostly doing night shifts, and it was like... It was 12 hour shifts. You'd work six till six. It was pretty stupid. It wasn't great pay, but it wasn't something I needed an education for. Mm. But doing that, I, I, I got to watch a lot of YouTubers and streams. I said, you know what? That's, I, that seems easy. I bet I could do that. <laughs> and uh, once, I, once I was done security guarding, I, I decided to, you know, I got a couple of bucks saved up. I'll give it a shot. I don't, I'm not like rich, but I got like a thousand bucks in the bank. I could live two months probably before I got to get a job. Let's try and see if I can get something out of it. So when I started casting, my only goal was pay for like a drink or something per cast. Like <laughs> that was the dream. I was a student. I was in college, so it's also like it's part of the reason why it worked out really well. One of like biggest barriers to entry of getting into sports is having the time, patience, and a little bit of cash to do it. And the fact that he had his his job and. I was working means that occasionally we couldn't do something for sure, but most of the time we could do it. We could do it like as a pair, so it helped. Um, but I was a student, and I was studying art, and I graduated, and then I did art a little bit more, and then became full time esports. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, so this is Matthew Orton again. On a scale of one to ten, 
How delicious was Jesse's face when the first proxy BC rolled over his base? <laughs> so funny. I wouldn't normally be able to answer this, but I went back and I watched the VODs last night while I was waiting for Zombie Group to land. And I hear the cast say, oh my god, you see Jesse's face? Because I didn't notice it initially. So I had to rewind like three times and just watch that. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. It was like a, it was like a less than a second face too. It's just kind of. Like, it was an it was an eight out of ten. Yeah, it was. It was I there. would say yeah, eight out of ten, nine out of ten for sure. Not quite perfect, but pretty good. All right. Um. Uh, Terminator asks for all the Canadians in the house at Rifkin, what is the worst province? So I guess this is for Twitch chat it's actually, too. Well, it's for everyone. The the house as well. Scarlet and Jake. Oh, that's true. I guess I'll save that for Scarlet and Jake. Um, but let's ask Switch Chat since we're here with us anyways. <laughs> what is the worst province? Now, are we limiting this to provinces or territories? Because that's a trick question and the answer is Quebec. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> this, I, I, like, I like how detailed Colin went on this one. Can you please tell us the story you were <laughs> referencing earlier in the stream that few people have been told, and I thought I had been told but had not? Or if you don't like the word can... Would you please tell us the story referencing the story? <laughs> is this specific would enough? He keeps going. I cut it short, but he says, would you, would you please? Um, where's where's Rachel? Where's my wife? One horse says, Doug, what? okay, here's the thing. Let me let me see if, um, let me just check in and see if the Korean house is awake yet. I don't want to like, keep them hanging out. Uh, okay, you, you, you tell, you can tell the, the story. I got to go make sure Skype's on this PC. Oh, am I actually telling this the story? I don't know. It's up to you, dude. I, I have no shame, so I don't care. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. Hold on. I wanted to. Oh. Plus, I need to go to the bathroom. Can I go to the bathroom first? Yeah, go to the bathroom. It's fine. Dodge. I'm not gonna dodge. We'll tell the story. I'm not taking around here. Thank you, Terminator, for the bits. Terminator, now the king of the. Uh, king of Whoa! Not for long, though. Yoda cow. Just like, he just, just, just knocked him out. Uh, but yeah, for those who don't know, sorry, someone actually asked about this earlier too. What's the deal with the, the prize Rifkin's talking about? We have, so, uh, let me just get all seductive here. This is me. We have a bunch of, uh, who's, are you still fighting? Jesus! Terminator! 14 inch bits, now the boss. We have, uh, not a lot, but we have three or four of these left over from last year. And we were trying to think of good ways to give them away. And I think this will be a fun one. Because uh, we got about two Rainer and two Kerrigan. Or maybe it's three Rainer and one Kerrigan. Either way, we get some, some StarCraft figurines left that we can send out. And we can sign the box for and whatever. So the way I look at it is kind of like it's boss loot. So whoever at the end of stream has like the highest, uh, like it's whoever's the boss, frankly, uh, will send the loot to... If that makes sense. <laughs> Hello, zombie girl. Welcome back. I was just preparing for your arrival. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to get Skype up. So you, you can tell the story. All right. And, and for context, guys, I want to make this clear. This was like, when she tells the story, this was our money and our choices. I don't want there to be bullshit. And fake drama and fake news with this, okay? Guys, I gotta be looking into your eyes when I tell this story. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, I thought you were gonna leave. No, why am I leaving? I'm checking to see if Skype's on this. Oh, there it is. Okay, guys. So here's the thing. Thanks for the bits. But also, <sighs> I really gotta start from the beginning. So <laughs> we gotta take it back all the way back. back. <laughs> I was born in 1991. Um, so <laughs> there's so much fighting going on right now. <laughs> so we're in Toronto for the month to set up the studio, and we are gonna meet up with Emerald Awesome. Yeah, who actually, involved in the story. And for those who don't know this story, we were living together for a month because we had grand aspirations of not being cock blocked by visas. And getting a studio together, so we wanted to test living together for thirty days to see if we could if we could do it, if we could it was stand each other. Grand after, yeah. Anyway, so uh, we go and meet like meet him up for um, Brazilian barbecue, which is the first time we've had it, and it was oh, actually, so fucking like, good. It was cheap considering like where I've heard about it, and so it was actually super cool and it was super good, right? 
and he's the nearest fun guy. He's hanging out. And Yo, a- gotta interrupt. Be legit, aka Adam, aka stole my fucking look. Thank you for subbing the channel. So <clears throat> we get to that point of the night, right, where it's like nine, nine thirty, something like that. I forget, right? So it's the end of dinner, and we're just chilling, wondering what to do next. Not quite willing to go home, uh, type deal. And you know, because we have the cast the next day, and he's like, well, "What are you guys gonna do?" And I do a very classic move that I think everyone knows is a joke, and I say, "We should go to a strip club." And Amber Austin's like, yeah, sure. No, no, no. Thank you. He's like, yeah, sure. We can totally go to a strip club. He's like, yeah, sure. We can go to a strip club. And I was like, no one ever says yes to this. I know. Everyone says no because it's a joke. He's like, ha, ha, ha. Don't do it. And context here, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I'll do whatever, guys. I don't really care. Yeah, just kind of like, you know, whatever. Like, I'll do it. I'll do it. And I'm like, okay, The fucking bit wars are real. though. Yo, the boss is up to 1,800 health now. Wow. What the fuck? Um... So we like dick around for like another like five or ten minutes, you know, maybe like not actually committing to the idea. And then he's like, so strip club. And I was like, you know what? I really want to do this. Like, you know, it's like a once in like, you know, lifetime opportunity type thing. Let us I want to be. I want to like sweeten this pot. These guys are being like super generous. Uh, I have some DreamHack team ship t-shirts with signatures on it. Well, I was also saying there's like some health to be time cards left over and stuff. Yeah, we could. Oh, here's what we'll do. Well, well, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Tell the story. And we'll figure it out afterwards. Yeah, say, okay, so. <clears throat> So, we're like, let's do this. So, we get an Uber. We take, like, he goes, like, downtown Toronto or whatever, right? And Emerald Austin knows exactly where to go. I mean, before we get there, he's like, look, I got to warn he's, you. He's before. been there many yeah. times. Like, like, before we get in there, like, if they recognize me, okay, like, don't make fun of me or something like that, right? So, it's like, whatever, right? So, we get there, and we go, we go in, and first of all, guys, I'm American, and I live in Virginia, and I learned later that there's a lot of different rules about strip clubs actually and i'll tell you who i learned it from in a second but so we go in there and they're just entirely naked you guys like i sit down i ordered like the super expensive drink rifkin and emeralds were next to me and i'm just like what the hell why what, what is really here man and i'm like rifkin like they're like super naked and he's like well what did you expect it's a strip <laughs> club like they just strip down to their underwear and i was like well yeah that's what happens in like movies you know, like they just they wear like the little like the tassels on the boobs and the and like a G string. And he's like, What? No, like they get fully naked. And I was like, I don't I didn't think it was like Really? Like I don't know. I don't know, I've never been to one. So yeah, they're just like fully naked up there. And we watched the, the girls dance for like t- it's by the way, if it wasn't clear it was a girl strip club. Um so we, we did try dance. to go to a guy one after, <laughs> we, but yeah, with uh, after. not so much success. Yeah, but this is you know, it's chronological. So we watched it for like 10, 15 minutes, drink my drink, um, and then of course, like noticing all the, you know, the stereotype. Like it's, it's funny because it really did look at the. Like, there's a stereotype of every like, it was like person's a, the, well, fantasy. The thing is, there was a stage with a strip pole, and yeah. everyone going up there looked so sad to be having to <laughs> dance on that one strip pole because this wasn't like a party with a crazy DJ and rave lights. It was like more like a bar with like uh, it's kind of quiet and whatever, but. Oh, that's another thing, too. You yeah, didn't no, have to pay cover, but you had to buy a drink. And I'm like, I really don't want to drink because I'm not good at holding yeah, my alcohol. Not. So the drinks, were, it was like a fucking $10 for like a, a vodka so, Red Bull. It, it was pretty expensive, yeah. But I think that's what we expected. So, But like, it's just funny because like you could see like there's like a girl for the like the, the guys who like the short hair girls. There's a girl who like for the, 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 the guys who are into like the, the cool like biker chicks. There's like even a, a, a Russian hoe, basically. Yeah, they had the like end. every different type Every of single type that you want, all right? So, I just made a comment, but it's whatever. So, you know, a couple minutes later, of course, the real money isn't in, like, just the stripping and making people buy drinks. It's in the lap dances. So, so we're going to skip ahead here a bit and leave out some of the details. But to let you guys know, for anyone who's ever asked, are Zombie Urban Rifkin in a relationship? We sat there about as tight as we could like this and had... <laughs> <laughs> lap dances simultaneously and we had that moment where we did in the middle of the lap dance kind of look at each other and have a small side conversation and it's in that moment you realize like we're bros yeah. <laughs> like, and that's, we're bros for life and that's it like that's where it's gonna go <laughs> it was just it was kind of funny though like before that the actual lap dance happened though that um just like they they specifically set three girls on us kind of thing right like they knew we were all like together at the strip club so they sent like three girls came up and like you know appealed they're they're very good like i actually after everything was done by the way like i I tried to talk one of them into streaming on twitch by the way oh yeah 
So I number I, one. There was, I was listening to a conversation with some other guy that was like getting the, the, the speech to go downstairs and get a lap dance, and I was like, man, she's so good at like conversing. I like wish I was as good at having a conversation. I, I wish like, I was as so social good. as a stripper. Yeah, a like, stripper from much, Toronto. Like, eh? this, like this is how they're gonna make their money. They're gonna like appeal to people, not just like with like showing their boobs. And like they're actually like talk to them. So. <clears throat> Is there any part of the story that you don't want me to tell? Like, anything super specific? I think we should leave out the super detailed stuff. Um, but I think the part that is so, worth skipping to is the drinks after the lap dance. No, I want to talk about the feminist uh, conversation. Oh, okay. Actually, before you do this, what I love is... So, Zangrib and I, as mentioned, we're scooched up on this couch right next to each other. Our friend Admiral Awesome was, like, down yeah, that way like, about... <laughs> he's, like, two two couch links that way. And we keep glancing over at him. And this dude is having a hell of a good time. Like, I'm just saying. Yeah, like, fun, right? So, um, the thing is, like, so there's the, the stripper in front of me, the stripper in front of, that's in front of Rifkin, and, uh, of course, they're going to talk to you, right, a lot of the time, and you converse with you while they're doing their thing. So, while they're doing their thing, we're just talking, and, um, you know, I bring <laughs> up the fact, like... This is such a fucking you thing. I'm, like, <laughs> I ask, like, how many girls come to the strip club? And they're like, oh, yeah, a lot. And I was like, really? And they're like, yeah, you know, like... Uh, they kick more girls out than guys. Yeah, they, they kick more girls like this. Like, yeah, like, a lot of them come, like, with their boyfriends, and you can instantly tell which ones are, like, just doing it because their boyfriends wanted to or which ones are actually, like, kind of into it and having fun. And, you know, some of the girls that aren't into it, like, they really give you the sink eye. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I bet so. And they were like... I kind of, like... I forget exactly what it said, but it's, like, something along the lines of, like... Um, did you used to, like? Did you think that or something like that? Were you not like into it or something like that? And by, by the way, we should interject here really quick. The reason this story was asked was in reference to Scarlet, because Zombie Grub's dancer's name. No, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> is it really? Is that why it came up? That's what we were talking about earlier, right? With the colors. No, I know that. Oh, why this story came up? Yeah. Oh no, yeah, 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 you're right. Oh, do you actually want to tell that? Story? I was just, well, I just, I, I figured I'd put this in real quick. <laughs> Zombie Grub had a beautiful black woman dancing on her and we found out her name was sasha and i'm like literally we're like what's your name and she's like my name is sasha and i was like no and, and this is really funny because this is like with like we just hung out with scarlet like like a couple days before and and she does the whole thing where she insists on please call me sasha don't call me scarlet so we're like it's black sasha <laughs> we have to tell her yes. we have to tell her <laughs> so that's why scarlet knows the story um so anyways so or basically, I just like I used to be one of those people that like wasn't really into like the you know the idea of like woman dancing or whatever. But I'm like I'm past that, right? And so what ended up happening was for like the next like we had like a lap dance for like 20, 30 minutes, something like that, right? For most of that time, if not all of that time, I was talking to the stripper, stripping on me about feminism and like you know the so idea of like sex workers and what it's like to be a stripper and all the stereotypes that go along with it and we got such an interesting conversation going that rifkin stripper stops talking, talking to talking me to him. and starts talking to them so i'm sitting there like very awkward now because the thing is don't get me wrong guys th there's some etiquette to this you're with your best friend i'm with zombie group. i don't want to be too into this because then that's kind of gross and weird but I'm also definitely not not into this. I don't want to be like totally. Oh, I'm not touching anything. Hands are in the air. <laughs> so it's really weird when you real you realize this person that's kind of dancing on you is more interested in these people. So you're just kind of like, remember. you know, it's a, it's like the Liz Lemon thing or Jack Donna. You're like, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> Do get, give me some coffee cups I was or a boobs. Blast, you know, I wasn't really saying that like Rifkin was like awkward or anything. Um, but it was just funny because I remember why she turned and like was really into it. Because at first she like would make a yeah. comment or two, but then she like was really into it. And it's because I was talking about the fact that I didn't know strippers entirely stripped. And she looked at me and she was like, "Well, are you from America?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm from America." She's like, "Well, that's why. Like, there's different rules to different states." So we started talking just more about because she lived in America for a long time. So she talked about how when she went to like Florida they gave her like pasties or there's she was supposed to wear pasties but she didn't have any so like well we can just give you tape and she was like i'm fine should have tried casting i'll just i'll stripping. just i'll just wear you know the bra what this should have tried casting the stripping <laughs> yeah right and well that's that's what came up and then we ended up talking about our jobs and like um so streaming and, I've, and by the way for those who don't know i i get very excited that we get to stream on twitch like it, it is a very big passion yeah. point for me so when she was actually, whether she was faking it or not, but 
intrigued to learn more, I was very excited to tell about it, so yeah. talk about the games. And then we, of course, she brought up with the girl stream on Twitch. I'm like, well, some girls do, and they just show their cleavage all day. She's like, that sounds right up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> these these girls are actually super fun. Uh, super I fun. I will I will admit straight up, guys. Like, I am a fully heterosexual male who had a beautifully naked woman dancing on him. And I was more enjoying the conversation we were having about all of our jobs and opinions yeah. than the actual dance. And it's funny because you see those TV stereotypes and jokes where, like, guy hires a hooker, ends up just crying and complaining to her the whole time in her room, <laughs> right, instead of yeah. having sex. And you kind of realize, like, that's a real possible thing because these people are actually yeah. enjoyable to just converse with. They're very good conversations. They actually talked about that, like, how often does that happen? Like, it happens quite a lot. And then they also that girl thing that we brought up where, like, I was like, how many girls come? Um, no, apparently there's this thing, right, where the girls that are, like, having fun and into it, you know, they actually get, like, too into it. So if I asked, like, how often you do people get thrown out? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Black how, Sasha. How often do people get thrown out? And she was like, oh, like every once in a while, you have to be kind of stern and ask like the bouncer to like watch him. But like usually you don't have to throw anyone out. But actually what happens with the woman is that they think that because you're both women, they can get more comfortable with you. So they get like really grabby and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they get really grabby. One girl bit her on like the, the ass. You're and, like, like, that's not okay. It was like, that's not okay. Um, they actually give you like a little bit of like a rundown of like what to touch and not to touch. <laughs> they <laughs> so, also like, are pretty good scam artists too. They're like, all of right, course. one song, twenty dollars. It's, it's per song, so they hook you in with the conversation. And you're like, and you don't song, really realize. You so forget. we're we're like an hour later. I'm like, okay, this is gonna cost like a hundred <laughs> bucks. Hour, but yeah, so. We finally are done with the lap dance and all the conversations, as fun as they were. There, there are quite a few, to be honest. I learned a lot about stripping. Um, and we get up, and they're like, do you want a drink? So we go to the bar, and uh, Sasha <laughs> uh, is like, well, what drink do you want? Uh, I'm going to get a tequila or something like that. That actually was the first time I had tequila. Yeah, that was actually Maybe. the first time I had tequila. Um, so... I was like, oh, I've never had it before. And she's like, okay, I'll show you what to do. And she taught me how to take a shot of tequila with Tabasco sauce and uh, a lime and salt. And when I d she did it, and then I did it, and I was, of course, like, and she was like, you're cute. I was like, I tried, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, of course, and then <laughs> our friend Emma Ross, no problem, has, does that as well. But yeah, yeah. So then they're like, what do you want to drink? And I'm like, oh, I, I don't want to drink anything. Because, like, I'm, I'm really, the, those who don't know, like, I'm a big guy, but I'm a lightweight with drinks. So I really do not enjoy drinking unless, like, everyone else is already smashed because one shot and I'm gone type thing. So they're like, okay, well, you know, it'll be 160 or something like that, 140. And I'm like, I don't remember. Wait, well, I thought you said it was 100 for the dance. She's like, yeah, but your two friends had, had shots, That's 20 right. bucks each. And I'm like, and I'm thinking, like, here's the thing. Zombie up and, and our other guy had already gone to the A-team and paid on the last one there. Yeah. And they're all surrounding me. I've got, like, three beautiful ladies around me and, and this dude staring at me across the bar saying, oh, no, you have to pay for theirs. And I'm like, I guess <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say no. I got all the happening. fuck. So... Totally exploited. Like, there's no doubt it that definitely. that was, like, exploited. Yeah, but it was fucked up. I was like, okay, I'll pay the 20 bucks, I guess, and, and like, paid for them, and we all laughed. It was, we had a laugh. It was funny, and I told him, fuck yeah. you, you guys owe me 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, so the last story, I guess, about this, before we leave the, the strip club anyways, there's just a, just a couple more, um, is that, they, you know, we sit down and watch the strippers for, like, 10, 20 more minutes, right? And during this, before we leave... I remember when I said that there was like all these stereotypes of strippers that they're clearly trying to hit every mark. I swear to God, there was like a Russian whore stereotype stripper. Like, if, you know, that sounds really mean and it totally is, but you don't understand. Like she, she might've actually been Russian. I don't know, but she had the Russian accent as far as what I remember. And she was a, like a little bit older as in like she was older <laughs> And she came up to Rifkin, who, by the way, like, that one shot he took was, like, accident hit him now, right? Damn, Yoda Cow just hit red with a badge, too, with that. Damn. Knock a Terminator down, who healed himself, too, yeah. by the way. So do you want to tell the rest of the story? Or... No. no. <laughs> so poor Rifkin is kind of, like, still feeling out of it. And... I'm like it's it's rifting me and like I'm awesome I think something like that right and she comes up to him and she like just like you know like hey you want a lap dance and like actually like but, like tussles his hair by the way this is not like a young lady no, by the way I this, mean, like, older, like, older. like when zombie was tight she's talking to like the 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 woman who never had any other education or anything so she when she was done stripping she was not done stripping she had to do it for the rest <laughs> of her life 
So I'm not picturing like a granny, guys, but this is like an older lady, she's older. and she's like running her fingers through my hair. Yeah, and, and she's just... like, "Do you want a lap dance?" And he was like, "No, no, like no, I don't. Like, I'm just let me like leave me alone, basically." And this chick won't. She'll be like, "No, like don't like she, just come on." She's been you kind know? of like aggressive. And, and she's being like a little aggressive, like like come on, lady. And this is why I feel no problem kind of being mean to her. So when Ripken finally is like, no, I, I really don't want one, she walks away, but then she says, like, you're lost. <laughs> she, yeah. like, saunters off. <laughs> God. It was, um, it was an experience. And the thing is, like, I'm glad that we went, because it was, we have fun stories from this. She and... was not 35 at all, so she was, like, 55. Um, but anyways, Jake and, and friends are not replying, which is a little annoying, because they know the time for this, and they're late. We have to actually go at a certain time. Uh, but, that being said, we got another question on Facebook coming out of Dares. It says, uh, when are you going to sell some kind of base trade shirt again? Please respond. Okay, uh, if there's anyone from Twitch watching, I want to make this clear. I'm not complaining about any individual in particular, but the circumstance in which this has happened. So, we would and should normally have shirts circulating through sales. But we don't. And part of this is because right now our, our share is messed up. For example, if you sell a shirt for $20, uh, I think like, if I'm guessing here, 12 probably goes to the production company, a couple bucks goes to Twitch, and then we're supposed to make like 3 bucks on that shirt. And the more you sell, the bigger our share is. So when we sold like like over 100 Hell to Boot Time shirts, we actually got quite a bit of money from that, which of course went to the event. Um, Right now, it's messed up, and no matter what we set the value of the shirt at, we're only getting like $1 for each shirt sold, which is retarded. So, selling like 100 shirts at like 20 bucks, or selling 100 shirts at 40 bucks, we still only get like $20 for all those sales. <laughs> or I guess 100, because 100 shirts. But the point is, like, it's just, it's not worth it right now. We have some cool designs, and I have plans for other designs. But right now, we just can't. And yes, the argument could and should be made. We'll just sell it on another site, Spreadshirt or otherwise. But Spreadshirt screwed us out, about, out of a bunch of money. Um, what's that other one people use that starts with an H? Oh, I don't know. <sighs> humble. No, not Humble Bumble. That's a different thing. Anyways, the point is, uh, this other this other popular shirt one that everyone uses... Uh, screwed us out of out of our designs. So they took our design, one of the designs I submitted, didn't use it for our shirt, printed it publicly. And I was like, oh, that's fucking cool. Like no one's gonna know who Base Trade TV is. Like give us the money for that. So we've kind of been burned by shirts a bit. Yeah. Uh, but I will say this jersey that we're doing with Viol, I hope looks. Bits. Maybe we should never stop streaming. This is going to fight all the stream. Um, as far as shirts go, I think the next shirt we would sell would be the jersey. Jesus. If it looks if it looks good. From Damn. What's going on, you two? How many bits do you guys have? We've never had like a bidding war before. No. Like, ever. This, this is, is kind of crazy. Happens. This is worth telling the stripper story, though. Yeah, right? Um... But yeah, for whoever, whichever you two wins, unless like a th maybe a third party comes out of nowhere and it's like fuck you guys, there's three thousand. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, we got a lot of cool stuff we could do. Like I've actually, you can probably see it on the camera. Oh, it's, I took the camera down. Yeah. I got like a Zergling plushie we could sign. Like I would definitely be so stoked to to beef up the the prize. Pool, so yeah. um, By the way, I want to tell one more story, and this isn't actually regarding us but it's about strip clubs and me telling this story go ahead just one thing to interject with real quick for those who don't know by the way we really appreciate it for the bits not just because like it's bits but we've been putting all of our donations through to the mega tournament fundraiser yeah and you can see actually our top we're like at three thousand in that's three thousand dollars we're essentially missing out on so bits is helping us a lot with this uh we really would actually probably be in a bit more trouble if we didn't have bits yes thank you um so for those of you who didn't see my most recent tweet, including my mom, she can be pretty funny and awesome. So we were playing Red Flag, and she made a, a joke about forking. But what she also does is have funny stories of her own, I guess, and lets me tell these really silly stories to her without judgment. So I told her this story. I, was t I told her this story when we were eating lunch at a mall. And I was like, this is the story you're going to be disappointed in. <laughs> so she's like, okay, tell me. So I tell her the whole story. Of the strip club, and then I tell her about going three thousand bits. The lumberjack. So someone did. Oh, yeah, someone did come in. Break, break it up, it up guys. Break it up. 
<laughs> the real bit boss is here. So she's like, she's not just actually judge me, right? She thinks it's actually hilarious. And I talked about the part where I was like surprised I got entirely naked. And she's like, oh yeah, they get entirely naked. And I was like, oh, wait a second. Like, how do you know this? And she's like, well, you and my, you're like your father and I went to uh, Canada like uh, 10 years ago. And, you know, for fun, I went to a strip club with uh, with a friend. What is Lumberjack's avatar? Oh, I don't know. It's a literal lumberjack, like wielding Aww. a battle axe. It's actually super <laughs> sick. So, first of all, I found out that my mom went to a strip club. But then second of all, she was like, did you go to a male strip club? And I was like, no, we looked in, but we didn't actually go. And she's like, well, you should, because they're fully naked, too. And I was like, well, that's good to know. And she's like, well, yeah, but they do, like, really fun things, right? Like, we had this greatest stripper ever. And when he, you know, came up to us to get our attention, he just did the helicopter. And I was like, no, he did? Really? <laughs> no, nobody does that. I didn't think anyone actually did that. Nope. He put, like, sunglasses on it, you know, and, like, made it, like, a little face. Ship clubs in Canada are amazing, apparently. Uh, well, it's funny. So we didn't want to tell this story. We went to the – so – we're like, okay, zombie. You sat through the girls' strip club, and I know you had some fun and whatever. Let's let's try the guy one, right? And I did this kind of jokingly, not thinking we would actually go, but we're like, oh yeah, it's next door, so let's go. I'm like, oh okay. Yeah. So we go inside to the guys' strip club, walk up to the top, and there was guys and there was six packs and it was like three hundred or some shit, right? But the reason we didn't go in wasn't because like there was homophobia or anything, or zombie Rob was too timid to get like packaged by a guy. <laughs> It was that there was a cover fee, and we're like, no, we're not wasting like 15 bucks to like yeah, go in right. there. So we turned around and left. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but I will still say, cool. of that night, as fun as that was, the Brazilian barbecue was still my it favorite still was part. Pretty, like, we it actually was really ended highlight. up going back. That's yeah. how good it was. Yeah, we had like food in the house we had to eat before I left, and I was just like, I really want to go to the Brazilian barbecue place. The Brazilian barbecue place is like 30 convenient. Where like in America, it's like 50 or something extreme. I love okay, so two things real quick. I love that who who's Mega Dog keeps spamming one bit just to mess with the total health, like nobody gets to have full health. <laughs> but the Yoda Cow comes in with three thousand bits and this guy has been not I'm interested is he's not consistently throwing in like one three thousand bit cheer. It's always like hundred, 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 hundred yeah. thousand, thousand like I feel he's the uh the, the fast punching like jabber, guy. Man. The yeah, going in. lumberjack just comes in with one fell swing of his gigantic lumber hammer. <laughs> <laughs> um, but someone I don't know if this is true says, "Well, his name is Tra La La." Mm, my ding ding dong <laughs> says, "I'm a professional male stripper. I get us all the time to do the bat wing." Kona. Yo, do you know what that is? It's when you take your balls and you stretch it out oh, real actually, thin, I was like, like the bat. That as soon as I was like, "This is the bat wing." That's gross. Thank you for that. What's that? What was that movie from? That's uh, Waiting, I think, or something? That was such a good movie. That was hilarious. I don't know, man. I don't know. But that's, uh, yeah, that's like 90% of the ship story, so. Can I send there you guys 3,000 bits by chunks of one bit? I mean, if you got, I think this is like a limit how much they'll let you <laughs> put at a time. Yeah. So if you want to spend several hours doing it, good luck. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm really annoyed. Jake's not responding, so they're probably asleep or something silly. Which they fully knew they were supposed to be here for, and this makes this very awkward. Well, it's not. I don't mind us doing an AMA. No, it's I fun. don't mind it at all. But, but it's... the thing is, you flew out here. Yeah. To do this, and it's not like Zombie was going to be here tomorrow. We could be like, oh, well, we'll just do it tomorrow instead. Yeah. So, um, basically, here's the plan, guys. If if we can't get a hold of them in the next five minutes, we're probably just gonna start taking stuff down. So that we can really I am having a lot of fun. Well, maybe we could go... What, just do a later show in the Power Rangers movie or something, then. Okay. Plus, <laughs> fucking bits raining from above, like, fair as ultimate. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, 3,099, because he's like, fuck that guy with the one bit <laughs> mega dog or whatever. C.K. Walsh says he definitely didn't tell him that story. You held up the pact. Tells ZG to suck it. <laughs> yeah, suck it, ZG. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was, um... It was, it was just so funny, because... The the, Scar the Sasha thing was hilarious because this was also that time where we had, well, you more than me, but like we had all just kind of started becoming good friends, right? Like more than just oh, I saw you once at an event type thing. Mm. So <laughs> the the intimacy of this story and telling Sasha was kind of like <laughs> we just kept giggling. <laughs> like every time this girl yeah, said know, her name, she's dancing on zombie up saying my name's Sasha, and we're giggling like idiots. Yeah, we like, definitely. She was like, what's so funny? 
and they had to like wait for the train and we got to the apartment like is when like we called and like included her in the story we are super fucking deleting this vod after by the way guys like <laughs> you, you congratulations to the few of you that got to see and hear this because we're definitely not going to keep that yeah um oh is wcs on 30 minutes well yeah I don't know how this works. Like, okay, I don't want to be Mr. Negative, and I'm not trying to start like a hate train, but Blizzard's communication with this has been worse than ever. Fear Dragon was WCS over the weekend. He was the only one tweeting about it and updating yeah, it. And he was at he the Ting Open, by the way. Yeah, well, at the Ting Open, like, spectating. He gave up, like, he updated the players. He was talking to them personally. Apparently, like, he wrote a script or something. I was talking to him about it. Yeah. So they could get updated. Like... I don't know, man. It's, it's just, uh... Yeah, the question earlier is like, what about saving esports? What, like, Fear Dragon is saving esports. Fear Dragon is saving programming esports. And you know, uh, it wasn't asked, but I guess I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, Fear Dragon and us, because there was a lot of confusion about him leaving and uh, obviously misconceptions. The thing is, guys, before I tell you anything about this story, you need to understand, like, we're all pretty friendly with each other. There, there's no, there's no bad blood. Like, Fear Dragon and I do not hate each other. I'm pretty sure we both find each other annoying in some regards, but, like, <laughs> nobody hates each other. Uh, the thing is, though, Fear Dragon and I definitely have very different personalities. I, When it comes to talking esports, I'm very much on the pessimism side of the scale, and he's very much on the gleeful, hopeful optimism side. And the thing is, the, the difference between us is, I think, in that regard, is I've experienced a lot more of the BS than he has. Because I would say two years ago, I was definitely also on, on Team Plucky Optimism, right? So we would have these conversations with the three of us once in a while, and um, a topic would come up that's controversial. I'm mad, Zombie Grub's indifferent, and Fear Dragon's peppy about this. And I, I think those conflicts eventually just came to a point where um, it's not that Fear Dragon didn't want to waste his time with base trade TV or that like this was this thing. And I'm not trying to speak for him, guys. This is my point of view. But it did come to the point where he wanted to pursue his own stream more. He wanted to put more focus on ladder heroes. And before we, any of us had even started disagreeing on anything, we already knew it was it was tough because we were trying to cast with him a lot on the weekends. <clears throat> and the weekends is when he wanted to do ladder heroes. So at the end of the day, like when when he decided to leave, it was kind of like, look, we can still host him and we can still help out and we can still mention him now and again, hopefully giving some recognition because there isn't bad blood. But with Fear Dragon, it was like him leaving, and part of that was definitely our, our clash of personalities. But the bigger aspect of it, I think, was really him wanting to pursue his own channel and his own his own thing. Mm. Well, it was also that you I mean he couldn't do most of the stuff that we were, like were hoping that a third streamer could. Yeah, so. like like super Korean hour things. Yeah, because he actually has like, a full time job. Yeah. So I on that note. I still say super fucking props to Fear Dragon. Saving esports more than anyone else, especially this weekend. <laughs> yeah, especially. that's true. Clip it all, clip it all. Clip's gonna be deleted. I mean that's true, but maybe maybe there's some good ones that don't give too much away with keep... game. <laughs> you can of course uh, edit clips, which is always nice and, and have it a specific mm, amount. Yeah. So I kinda about... I kinda forgot we didn't have music playing by the way. Yeah. Because the stupid bit oh, fight like was so like constant often. background yeah. music. <laughs> uh, was there more on Facebook? Sorry, I thought it stopped. No people, some people wanted to ask stuff in chat, but we're doing Facebook. Yeah, well, let me check on Facebook. If there's nothing left on Facebook, maybe we'll take a couple questions from, from chat, chat arena there. I think Dares was the last question on Facebook. Oh, no, we never answered Cullen's. Uh, one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? A hundred duck-sized horses. Oh. Oh, so Fucking Yonako. Like, I don't even know what's going on today. You guys are fucking amazing. I hope you get some bits for your lunch, man. <laughs> Thank you, uh... Nothing, man. 32. Oh, you, you watched a little bit of Rick and Morty, right? I watched all of it, yeah. Did you see the little bits? Little bits. I don't remember it. We got, we got little little bits for little people. With little mouths. I don't remember that. We got little steaks. We got little... <laughs> I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> little bits. I, I didn't watch all of it, but I don't remember it. Okay. Well, I hope someone in chat knows what I was talking about. Stop ignoring us. We, we are going to stop ignoring you. Hold on. Uh, but my problem with Cullen's question is, again, Cullen, specifics are the key. Am I fighting these duck-sized horses or horse-sized ducks, or am I eating them, or am I running away from them? No matter what I'm doing, at least they're cute before it happens. 
So if you're you monster, you're like, oh, you're so cute. Look at you. So no. I'm going to do the same thing. If I if the course is to eat like one horse-sized duck, I'm also going to feel bad. Because so, you can't eat all that. Either way, uh, you know, it's <laughs> Wasting food. Yeah. I think I would go with 100 duck-sized horses. Yeah. And that's also because I feel like you could make a killing selling those. That's true. Unless you are killing them yourself, in which case, that's awkward. Yeah. All right, guys, I don't, I don't, okay, I really don't know how long we'll keep doing this for. She's, like she said, we're having fun. We were planning to stop this already, but um, if you got questions in chat, I'll let Zombie be the one to pick them out, and we can start answering from there. Oh, I have chat open. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't raise the Andrew. <laughs> so if uh. any of you guys got questions, anything's on the table. We might not answer it, but any question is on the table. I was, I was kind of looking forward to answering them with the house. Me too. Like a big part of this was supposed to be because like we're friends with a lot of those guys, and I was really actually curious to ask them some questions too on behalf of you know yeah. chat and like the thing is the house is a really cool project and it's a very expensive fucking project, but it's a really cool project. Yeah. All right. So first, any interest in adding brooder content to the side? I might do some stuff, but as Barry Trade TV doesn't really have any interest in it, probably not. Okay, so here's the thing about that, too. Because this pertains to Overwatch and, and all the other games out there. It's about whether it's interesting for both of us. Like, there's there's some games I'm sure Zomgur would love to stream on Base Trade TV, and there's games I would love to stream on Base Trade TV, but they don't interest both of us. So the worst thing, I think, for our fans is not to force you guys to watch a game that you don't like, but to force you to watch a game either of us don't like. Because then we'll be there on the cast, and it'll be quiet or boring, or it just it won't be it won't be good. Mm. basically so as far as brood war goes i'm not a big fan of brood war but i'm also not a hater so it's one of those things where if this remaster and like the new players coming in and the new observing features make this awesome i'm team fucking brood war but right now i'm not so i will say right now we have no plans but certainly a maybe mm. um <laughs> dude yodaka is like not letting Mega Dog get away with this like one damage bullshit. <laughs> He's healing. <clears throat> what is yo Yodokel, What is your portrait by the way? I can't quite make that out. How did you two meet? We didn't meet. We he messaged me on Twitch. Well, twice. I mean, we did meet at uh, what MLG, right? Yeah, but it's not when people ask how you meet. It means when you first start talking to each other. That's true. She ignored me twice on Twitch. Feels bad, man. I nerd you once. The second time I responded. I was in Twitch chat one time, but I didn't care. Oh. You never brought that up before. Because it's never mattered. <laughs> we've, we've had to answer this conversation a billion times. Yeah, but it was always specifically like, I didn't reply to the message, not like ignored him. Like, it was never caught what happened to the website. We'll be back. Uh, it broke, and Remar was going to try and fix it, but then Remar had a lot of bad stuff happen to him. Remar so. has... I You guys might... He's one of our mods, and I know our mods get a lot of shit, but for Remar... This guy has been through hell and back in the last few months. Like, yeah. it's hard to really say, like, dude, fucking work on the website. Because we really do feel for him. Like, he's somebody we would definitely consider a friend. He's been around forever. He helped us out a ton in Germany. And it's not my business to tell you what's been going on in his life, guys. But for, for several months, it's certainly been something that's a couple of things that's worth being distracted for. So I'm just, we, yeah. we kind of had the website up. Get but, you know, what? Twitch just released this Twitch events thing. Which I'm so stoked about, and I'm going to use for like, everything. So every cast we do that we have coming up, like we're going to put on that Twitch events calendar. So get ready to start getting to use that. And the best part is, you can enable this thing that's like, oh yeah, course your cup. I definitely don't want to miss that. Show, send me a reminder when it happens and stuff like that. Yep. It's like a one press button too. Where do you think you guys would be in esports if you had started Base Street TV one year later? That's actually a really interesting question. Yeah, we've had everyone ask the other way around before. Like, what if you started later? sooner? Yeah. So. It's actually kind of an important question too, because it's not just a matter of like, well, we'd be, we'd be where we are at, we were at last year right now. Like, it's not that simple. Because if it was one year later, I might have Jesus. Oh fuck you! It's oh, probably the shit. best name appropriate for what just happened. Everyone's fighting over these little like three thousand bits, four thousand bits. Oh, if you's just like. Damn, oh, if you. Zip flop. <laughs> <He's> just. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for those bits. Thank you all of you, dude. I'm glad to see you hanging out. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the Ting Open, or at least got to watch some of it. It's pretty good yeah. times for us. Uh, but I was going to say, I'd probably be in Korea. For me, I don't know. It, it's weird. A lot of people want to make the argument that, like, oh, base trade TV is only big because they filled a gap. And there's that argument then, like, in this hypothetical world, maybe Wardy filled that gap instead of us. Would we be where Wardy is, struggling for viewership, whereas he's, like, the king of a castle type thing? And I want to believe, and this this is totally just ego-driven and totally I have no merit or foundation for it, but I want to believe our personalities combined have been a big driving force in why we have a fan base. Like, yes, we get to show you guys some good games, but we haven't always. It, it's been a, a long trek of, like, grinding Zotac Cups and other things where maybe Polt would play and he'd be the only big name in that tournament. Yeah. Uh, so I want to say I don't think we would be too far off of where we are now. I think we would actually be maybe in a situation where we're just a year behind where we are now. But the problem is, regardless of how good or bubbly or amazing we might be, the fact is that when we got into StarCraft to where we are now, the fan base has shrunk. It's not sure. like dead, and it's not dying, but it's not the 50,000 billion people that it was well, before. Yeah. Yeah, that aside, I mean, like, but, like, literally, so there was a point where it, we were in casting StarCraft, and I was pretty much doing most of the, the events eventually, and I still wasn't fully committed to esports or the idea that I could actually make a living. And I decided, kind of within like the last two months that I had to decide that I would stay with esports and if it was a year later then that might not have happened. I might have been in Korea and if I was in Korea I would do a lot less casting and then maybe someone else is casting with Rifkin. Maybe Rifkin doesn't have a co-caster and gets burned out after a year. Like Yeah, like I want to be perfectly clear for, for like Whatever for Zombie Up, she couldn't be just anybody else. I, at a time, was casting with everybody and anybody. But I don't know. We gelled really well after a while. And I still don't believe <laughs> What? Like, the, the first cast that we did? I still think that was, like, so, so weird that uh, people said that, like, they, they liked me. <laughs> yeah, so actually, that was funny. We, we had a fan base of, honestly, we, like, a good hundred viewer base or so. Sure. And people said, yo, you and that girl worked really well together. Like, and th these are people like Pertouf and others who were like, people we trust. It wasn't just yeah. like some random guy, right? Like, oh, get more hot chicks on the stream. Ooh. Yeah. So I messaged Zombie Girl back and I said, you know, our fans really liked it. You want to do it again sometime? And she was like, yeah, sure. Why not? But she, she refuses to believe. Like, it's so funny. I don't want to give too much away about you and I'm not going to try and speak for you. But Zombie Girl is this person who does beam confidence in a lot of ways, but then lacks confidence in other areas that I find just so strange. Like, like this one where you're like, I can't believe people liked us. Like, I'm a cinder. Okay, so the thing is, is, it's not that I can't believe people didn't like me, because at that point, I had done, like, quite a few other, like, events, so I wasn't, like, new to casting or something like that. Um, and some of the people knew me from those things, so I figured that's why they would like me. But to be honest, Rifkin and I's casting style is very different, right? We cast differently than we would if we were with other people on, like, a main stage of DreamHack, because it's based straight TV. But that's not, at first, what I went in there thinking. <laughs> so most of my career as a caster, or starting career as a caster, has been trying to emulate those guys who are super professional, very clean cut on stage, very few jokes, or they had to be very, very tasteful. And there was definitely like a, a back and forth that was very casual. So that's why I went in there. And then Rifkin just didn't care. <laughs> Rifkin just like did the basic TV thing, right? Like made stupid jokes and you know, like kind of like a little overpowering sometimes because I was underpowering a lot of times. And I thought it was actually kind of like a weird experience. So when people were like, I like you two together, I was like, really? I thought like there was a, like, I don't think there was actually any chemistry. But then eventually you get used to each other and now it works out fine. But it's a good thing they said what they said at the time, I suppose, because otherwise if they had been like, yeah, I don't like her, I think I would have been like, yeah, I can I can get that. And when their base TV would never be. <laughs> I mean, so, and, and I don't want to disingenuate you in any way with this, too. I think Bay Straight TV, though, would still be something. Like, I, maybe it would have been Zeph. Maybe it would have been somebody else. Like, I was determined to make this work. Yeah. And no regrets that it was you and me, by the way. Um, but I think there probably would have been someone else. It just would have probably, I don't know, kind of, it's like that year later question. Like, would that, would I have yeah, not found it's... a proper co-caster? Because, like, you are this perfect storm of doesn't need to work so to speak like you didn't yeah, have to up earlier yeah. it's like finding someone who doesn't like has enough of a comfortable life and has a time 
to do all these events is like really difficult. So you probably well, would have been doing not much with a co-caster until like maybe Warty. By the way, so that's what I was going to compare next. So Peter Lawford brings this up saying, personally, I cannot stand professional casters. It's just noise. And the thing is, you've got some people like Artosis and Tasis who actually knock it out of the park. They're very entertaining yeah. and good. But most people outside of that, I would say, aren't. And I would argue, even nowadays, and, and throw hate my way if you want. This isn't hating on other people. But some other casters are actually kind of boring to listen to. And there are some things where I actually really respect and like Rotterdam's casting. But when it comes to topics of things like sports references or making betting jokes with Todd on stream, I don't get that. I, it disconnects me. The same way some people don't like my jokes, and they'll be yeah. disconnected the same way. And they can still like the stream. They still like that. But that one thing for me was what I saw with a lot of other casters, but through their professionalism. So at the time, I wasn't trying to be like a rebel without a cause. I just wanted to offer a different flavor, so to yeah. speak. And, and it kind of worked out. It did. Um, I don't know. We're going back to Toronto, to be honest. Maybe there'll be another like smaller event there. Uh, Admiral Awesome asked that. Um, I really enjoyed sub. Toronto. That was a good city. Yeah, we had new subs. Thank you very much for that. New Moss about my webcam. I, I should have the webcam when I go home because it, it was supposed to arrive Tuesday. Oh, the cat cam. The cat cam. Cat yeah. cam. And then Anurg asked something that's interesting that we kind of went over already, but... Where is this? Sorry, I didn't see. It's like pretty far up there. I stopped. So like anyone has oh. <laughs> been talking for like the last six minutes, it's way up there. We're watching a bunch over the past few months, uh, but mainly coming over from mainly watching Take TV as we're quite similar. Could you imagine their way expanding into other games plus studio plus events type thing? And we kind of cover the studio. We literally cannot get a studio because we cannot it's a make their official problem. working like you know residents of each other's countries. Um, but. We did try the whole expansion of the game thing because there was certainly a period of time where it was like it seemed like it had to be a necessity. Um, but that time was actually, in retrospect, very short. <laughs> uh, so we tried doing Overwatch, and that was just too difficult. And it does come down more to just like we have to find a game that we both like and is feasible with what we have to actually make our way into it, which we did like Overwatch, but it was not in any way feasible with the current climate. Yo, actually, I just realized we can't do later showing for uh, Power Rangers. We told Mail Mage we'd be there, and he's going after work. Oh, he is going. Yeah, so we should probably cut the stream. Like, do, do this last question, and then we should probably cut the stream and start heading out. Oh, is he already on the way? I, I don't know. know. It's just he messaged a while ago, and I just realized. Because Yodakal says, no Power Rangers movie today, and this spams all the emotes. And, yeah, so we do want to see the Power Rangers movie. So, f uh, find one more question. I'm going to go start setting, or, uh, tearing some of this stuff down. and. Yeah. Uh, I guess because I'm going off stream. I love you guys. I hope you had a good time. Thank you so much for the bits. The yeah, bit war was bits. hilarious. Um, whenever the stream comes down, we'll write down whoever's name it was and contact you a little bit later because we are actually really short for time now. So yeah. I'm, I am I want to say I'm a little bit disappointed that the Korean house uh, failed. I guess if they wake up later. But... Well, so the original plan was 9 a.m. in Korea. They said it's too early. 10 a.m., fine. We can be up for 10 a.m. Yeah. So it's like now 11 a.m. and still no response at all. Like it, it kind of sucks. So they fucked up. Um, Sorry about that, guys. We're really looking forward to this yeah. for you. I'll so talk on a couple of these ones. Playing Mass Effect. I haven't gotten around to it because I left uh, when it was released. Uh, thanks for the weekend. That's moving laterally. Hey, glad you were there. Um, lots more bits. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, more bits. More bits. More bits. Uh, oh, what the fuck just happened? OFU is still. OFU is just. That's 15,000 bits right there. Holy shit. Uh, I think he might be winning. Um, how are you going to make Cat Cam work on Skype? So we probably have a Cat Cam for when I'm casting, but I'll have one for a personal stream. Uh, when we were living together. Oh, he's already left. The master isn't really that many habits that annoyed me from living together. I don't remember that. But apparently, I didn't like his brushing of his teeth. Oh, he he's just like he like talked to Lugie <laughs> when he when he does it. Anyways, don't leave. I have you on Y ladder. I'm sorry. Um, hey, Kitty the Neko. Uh, more bits. Time this guy out. Time out. So many fucking bits. Thank you so much. Need more, more bits.
Yeah, maybe we'll do another hangout session after a movie tonight, because, like, there's actually a lot of people who wanted to ask questions, but, um, yeah, I certainly still want to with the, the, the house, but yeah, it was a fuck-up. Uh, I think that's about it. So... Oh, I didn't realize Kitty said something. Okay. Alright, Kitty Neko sub, I guess, and said, I remember ZG's first cast of Beijing to be. You were so flirty, Rifkin, even back then. Now I remember you liking you a lot, ZG, because you add a calmness, Rifkin's eccentric casting style. It's a yin yang effect that works very, very well. Well, thank you. I, I think that's what everyone else thought, but I just remember, like, I just, because I think I do an okay job. Like, part of being in a growing cast or in esports, unless, unless you're Wardy, basically, is, like, being able to actually accommodate co casters that come out of the fucking blue. Like, the, the manager of the team wants you to cast with one of his players because fuck, right? Like, that, like, you would get used to it. And even though I think we did an okay job, like, I tried my best, it's still just, I went away with that thinking, like, man, we just don't, we don't have the same casting style, which is true and is, is still true but it's a lot more fluid now <laughs> than it was so thank you very much for the comment though and I think that's it now yeah so uh bye guys we might see you really, really later but don't plan on it yeah maybe we'll do a hangout session after the stream we'll see how tired we are but thanks for watching have a good night everybody bye, -bye.